paradigm of absolute control. And that's why we're just out here doing simple things, pointing out that we're meant to be in nature and be natural. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. I'm angry. I've had enough of these people. Little bones of Christian murder scum. There were giant death factories keeping babies alive. They said in their body parts. What more do you need to know about these people? I go out and face these scum. They literally crawl out from under rocks. They have green looking skin. And they run around screaming, we love Satan, we want to eat babies. I have them on video. Hillary's in the creepy, weird six of men. She sleeps in the same room with that creepy, weird old woman whose mother wears a hood over her head. That woman number one is ugly Imagine how bad she smells, man I'm told her and Obama just stink Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur It's close to that evil and I feel it go Ah, ah, ah We're such self-centered crap We don't even notice And it's self rising up against us Millions of pointed people Of the very worst type And I'm so pissed We're gonna steal your daughter at the mall What's up, you big old bitches? We're back. We're back. It's a Monday, and I I, I can't be more suicidal than I am right now. But at <laughs> least at least we have old Rosa. Oh, Rosa Cole. Hi. Hey, I, I I can't make your depression any better. I can only make it worse. That's dad. I've had V two V twoers on before, and that's what always happens, especially when Pippa did it. God, brutal. <laughs> she, roasted, she roasted my ass and then roasted me in real life and then almost i got canceled it was rough <laughs> I, I i heard about this i i was i was i was told to be careful talking great. to 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 mr kumalot <sighs> and Good then I, I i i thought about it and i was like i don't i don't have a leash i don't have i don't have a weird yeah. fish man to tell me what to do yeah fuck no. the fish man <laughs> he's a bitch no um no, uh, Pip was great. Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, welcome to the Camel Cast. It's the 89th episode uh, featuring Rosa Coda. We're going to talk about working at GameStop today because I found out like 10 minutes before the stream started that uh, <laughs> Rosa Coda worked at GameStop for three years. So that's going to be fun to talk about. And then we're going to talk about some uh, some VTuber drama, leaving your old company and other stuff. And we're just going to have a good ass time while doing it. Plus, if you guys uh, don't remember... This Saturday on Flow Racing, I'll be racing at 
Pensacola and the ARCA series. Um, if you're into NASCAR, um, it's one of the feeder series. It'll be a lot of fun. So if you want, if you're in Pensacola, come see me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and also, every single one hundred dollars super chat or above will be on. Um, I I think tentatively the Kansas car, but it's still possible Talladega car. It's just a lot of moving pieces right now. Um, so we have currently fifteen names on that car right now, and we're up against the two hundred eighty fourth Naked Snake in a row. And speaking of Naked Snake, we have Billy Hatcher in the chat. Oh my god! Oh my god! He says, Cody finally got another BTB on the stream. Also, have you heard of uh, beam, Beaming Beam NG Rosa? Also, fuck Ninja Sanji. <laughs> uh, I think Beam NG is that's that one game where you like, car game. You put, like yeah, it's like a car simulator and like you can destroy them and stuff. I have heard of it, I've they never turn played into it. Pancakes, bro. They're like the cars quite literally turn into pancakes when they hit shit. It's great. Yeah, like oh. well, when that game was in my radar, I didn't have like a super strong PC, but yeah. now I do. I should have why why all YouTubers always have all this trouble. Like, like they're always like, Yeah, my PC sucks. I don't clean my room. I'm a mess. I haven't showered in a week. I'm like, what is <laughs> I have none of those problems? Oh, okay, good. I have none of those. I I I am I'm sane relatively. I like my there's nothing on my floor with the exception of like a dumbbell, some shoes. Dumb a dumbbell? That's why is there why is there a dumbbell on your floor? Uh, because my fucking brothers got me a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. You just need one. Is, no, this is the second one. It's just, I don't know what the second one is, oh. but they're they're eight pounds. <laughs> eight whole, damn, son. Damn. They're, they're eight whole pounds. That's Good that's Lord. about, that's like a tenth of my body weight. <laughs> that's crazy. I When I was at the gym the other day doing low weight, and I was doing 305 for like eight to ten reps on bench. 305. That's like 305, eight like, uh, Yeah, that's, 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 all, that's literally three of me and some change. That's funny. If only I had three tiny women and I could bench them, it'd be so great. That's like kind of my yeah. dream. Three tiny. That, women. That's a solid dream. My, <laughs> uh, ironically, uh, my dream is to be benched by a large woman. It is a solid dream. Um, thank you. Uh, whatever this is, I love you. Look at that name. It's beautiful. It's all kinds of characters that I don't understand. Oh, that 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 is penguin operator. <laughs> that's one of my mods. Raw is a chance. Survive graduation. Snake is eternal. That's thank you. True. I appreciate you. I, so. I, I kind of give you an idea of like I was like oh yeah I I left like my previous company over this thing, but that was the second company I was in. Oh, I've been in. You're two just companies. a bad person, is what you're just a bad yeah, employee. I I I've been VTubing for like just a little bit over two years, and I've I've gone through two companies. But so you're but, like a trash. You're trash bag. Kind of, but <laughs> but I've kept my IP the whole time. That's good. Kind of. I I lost my IP and then I got it back. There's there's a story to that. The first time I graduated, the second time I, I left, that was not on me. All right, I, I left. I, I, I felt I was punished unfairly. Right. Um, that's it. There's no third time yet. <laughs> so the second yeah. time you were punished unfairly, or the first time? The, the second time. The, the first time I, I, I just said, fuck this. This is, a fucking, this is a sinking ship, and I left, and within the month it crashed. Yeah, so I, okay, I was doing a little bit of research, like the most minimum research possible, mm -hmm. and I saw two, there was like two different Twitters, and I was like, wait a second, this is a different one than the first one I looked up. So there's like two, there was, you you were under two, um, like, kind of company banners, right? Yeah, I, I think, uh, my old, so the, 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 like, on my current Twitter, I have, like, the namesake, I think it's Close Collective, that's like the little group I, like, made with, like, my friends after I graduated right. the first time. Um... But uh, on the old Twitter, I think would have probably still said Lucid. I, I might have still been in Lucid when I got banned from that one. I'm not sure. That's what I saw, Lucid. Yeah. So so Lucid is the second company I joined. They're, they're great people. We just, you know, just uh, a difference in opinions, I guess. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> and monies. When I talk to other VTubers, I've talked to VTubers, man, that are like, that rule the freaking world. And I'm like, damn. And I like look up there. You can look up anybody's earnings. Like, oh, yeah. seconds. And I see yeah. these YouTubers make, make 400 grand a year. And I'm like, damn. So I'm like, wow, that's great. And I was, talking to, this, I was talking to this one undisclosed VTuber that made something like that. And they get like 10% of that. Like 10. 10. I was like, that oh. is That oh. is fucking, yeah, that, that, that is some like, uh, if I take a guess, hold on, wait, let me guess. They're from a Japanese company. Well, yeah. How'd I, <laughs> how'd I fucking know? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah, if, I, if I said it, it would be so damn obvious. And then it would be <laughs> me, so. so, so the first company I was in was a Japanese company, right? And for context, I've never been a content creator. 
right? I got yeah. dragged into this, all right? <laughs> this this is not this was never my intention, my goal, my dream, none of that. Same. Same. I used to do voice acting. Right. And I got this one Japanese company, right? So I was going to quit voice acting because it was bad for my health. Uh, voice acting turned me into an alcoholic. Um, <laughs> right, right as I was going to quit, uh, this Japanese man, sorry, this Korean man in Japan messaged me and he was like, hey, do you want to do this thing? It's VTubing. Do you know what VTubing is? And I was like, no. <laughs> and he was like, well, look, it's like voice acting. And I was like, uh, okay. And then uh, that's how mm -hmm. I got roped in. And then it turned out to be like a big, like, like, a, like, a, like an NFT thing. And like, just there was like all of the like companies funding was basically locked behind whether or not we pushed NFTs, which was basically just, yeah, I, the, the company was being funded essentially by like, like all of the backing for it was basically just like, yes, this is, this is the next NFT scam. I'm going to make so much money. But the CEO and like no one else in that v 2 company actually wanted to go with that. So all the funding was fucking limited, and I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm out. And so I laughed, because I found a loophole in the contract, so the contract was written by a fucking ten-year-old. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I fucking dipped, and a month later it fucking died. I'm shocked. Um, I'm completely shocked, because NFTs quite literally came and went within a couple weeks of what it felt like. And I remember, oh, dude, I don't, I, I've been making videos about GameStop for years. Just like you said, I didn't choose this it chose my ass so i i just made a i made one GameStop video one and then mm -hmm. i just made like a guitar video and random shit here and there and then i took like a two weeks off youtube because i was working full-time as a district manager like contracted out for walmart and um i just went to bed one day and woke up and i was a youtuber because the algorithm was like hey bro Here's a million views yeah. for your GameStop video. And I was like, oh, shit. I really like the GameStop stuff. Yeah. I that's. I mean, that's how I found you originally. I, like, I, I, um, no offense, but I've never really, like, watched your content aside from, wow. like, oh, <laughs> aside from, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, fellow, like, like, GameStop workers and employees, stuff like that, or, like, other managers sending me, like, oh, look at this guy. He's talking about GameStop again. When yeah. do you think this, this, this thing's going to die? And I was like, soon, get out. <laughs> and they're like, nah. <laughs> I'm comfortable. I like living in my mom's like house and having my pop collection. Oh no, <laughs> you're one of those. God. No, I'm not one of those. I've, I've just met tons of those. Oh, and okay, so cool. See, like... I, mis I misinterpreted. I was about to be no, like, no, 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 no. I, I, I've met so many of those, and it's just like, God, like, have you no, have you no aspirations? Oh, dude, no. There was this girl that worked. She worked at one of the other stores, and. She like loved pop vinyls. I have like four that people sent me in my PO box, and that's all I have. Mm -hmm. This girl sent me pictures, and every room in her house or her apartment was lined with pop vinyls. Yeah, and, also just like stacked. Yeah, yeah, and, and she keeps them. Like that. She keeps them like in a database, and she has over ten thousand dollars worth of pop vinyls. And I'm like, you make barely thirty grand a year, and you've spent. <laughs> this is yeah. taxes. You spent like two, uh, a whole year almost after taxes income on pop vinyls, little plastic goofy things, big heads. What is wrong with you? Yeah, it's it is fucking it is bewildering to me. The like <laughs> like the the mental illness that is pop collection. Um That's gross. But uh fuck, I was saying something, I forgot what it was. It must have not been important. Oh no, it wasn't. No, so anyways, yeah. Um worked I, I, I started YouTube. Same thing. Um, didn't ask for it, and then it happened. And uh, just started streaming, and it just really worked out. But when it comes to VTubing, there's so... Explain to me some of the like the corporate sides of things, and if you can, um, like what they ask from you. I know a lot of them will ha have complete access to all your social media and stuff like that. Yeah. So I got real lucky, and the Japanese company that I joined, they were very much like, oh, we are for the VTuber, but, like, from, like, a Japanese, like, perspective of it. So it's just like, ah, like, their super, super good Japanese contract is about equivalent to, like, a, like, mediocre, like, U.S. company contract, right? Yeah. So, so like, like what, what they were offering, they were like, yeah, this is, like, the best in the industry off of their, like, Japanese company analytics for the Japanese, like, like the, the Eastern market of VTubing. It's like, yeah, this is pretty good. But I also live in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, um, but uh, but yeah, and so it's like okay, and, like it wasn't like a, a terrible, terrible, terrible contract, right? I think the split was like, I think it was forty sixty. So I, I get like 
they take 40%. Which oh, is extremely, bad. yeah, it's extremely good for like a yeah. Japanese company. Which is why I was like, yeah, you know what? That's fine. I, I can live with this, right? Yeah. Um, and then uh, after I left that company, I talked to a few people from U.S. companies that were interested in like picking me up. They were like, "What? <laughs> the average here is seventy thirty, and some companies even go as low as like eighty twenty, and it's just like, oh, yeah." That's what I've heard, and I, I know a lot of large VTubers that are getting eighty twenty, and I also know of VTubers that are completely indie that are killing it, like just nuke mm -hmm. it in orbit. And I'm like, Whoa. well, hundred, yeah. well, hundred minus you know thirty percent from YouTube, and oh yeah, you know, yeah well, extra percentage if you're like an like, if you're watching on a fucking iPhone, like some kind of like gremlin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who does you know, that? God, these fifty bastards. if you're on Twitch. These bastards, Billy. Yeah, I got you, Billy. Jesus, he says I've been watching a lot of YouTubers. Who've been uh, doing goofy content with BMG, like Carl Almighty. Um, Carl Almighty also has messed up. You've been with two companies. Dude, um, yeah, I actually love watching people play or do rally stuff on that game uh, for some reason. Uh, but I've never played it. And I don't, I don't like playing Sims. And I don't like playing racing games that are aimed at Sims because it ruins, mm. it messes up real life racing like a lot. Because uh, it's not similar even a little. Um, no, go Hippo says, my choice was here or Kino Casino. Rosa is more entertaining. Thank you. No, go oh. Hippo. Thank Appreciate you. you. No go, Hippo. Um, thank you, by the way, Billy Hatcher, for the first pink boy. We're almost at 200 likes. Make sure you like the show. And every single $100 super chat goes on the car, tentatively at Kansas, um, the race car. So get it on it, dog. Um, and Rosa Chan still drinks and curses like a sailor. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about. So it's so funny to me. And I know this is like, I don't know, uh, sizest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's so funny when. I, it, it's, it's funny when there's when tiny little women are alcoholics. I don't know why. <laughs> you, you think it would be like yeah, a yeah. giant, like kind of man with a beer belly that like uh, beats his wife. That's the alcoholic guy. Yeah, yeah. Not like tiny little women alcoholics. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, no. So I mentioned before I used to do like voice acting, and that's what turned me into an alcoholic. Yeah. So my problem with voice acting, why I was planning on quitting, right, is because I'm, I'm a fucking perfectionist. So every time that I record a take, I'm like, no. And then I go back and re-record it. And then I go back and re-record it. And I'll spend, like, I'll spend hours on this, right? I'll spend hours on one fucking take, just re-recording it over and over again, right? Yeah. And so at the time, uh, my stepdad still lived in, in my house. And so I, I was basically caught between, like, uh, like 4 a.m., which is when my fucking grandmother would go to bed because she's a fucking lunatic. And 5 a.m. when my stepdad would wake up for work and wake up my mom. So that was the only time where I had silence in my fucking house, right? If, if any of you are Latinos in chat, you, you know. <laughs> you, you understand. The noise levels are, are, are in another world. Um, and so I have an hour to basically record all these takes. And what happened is I'd keep doing these takes and they wear out my throat, my voice. And I learned very quickly that if you take a shot of vodka... It'll numb out your vocal cords for a little bit, so you can get out a couple more takes. So basically, I spent a year spending an hour a night drinking vodka. <laughs> Jesus. And so I, I went from not being able to really tolerate alcohol at all to, like, I, I, I've not gotten drunk pretty much since, with the exception of the one time I had Everclear. <laughs> That's the that's the double double fisted dick suck. Yeah, every mm. time it gets you every time. Ever clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you. I've been to Vegas. Ever clear doesn't matter whose dick's out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the one for it, and I'm not even into that. But if the ever clear is, it's yeah, like dovetail. I... It's like dovetail, man. <laughs> now I've had three glasses of dovetail, and I'm talking tumbler glasses, bro. I was in mm -hmm. Vegas last year. And he's like, my friend Nick Ricada. Pulled me, he poured me some, uh, some like really high proof, like over the top shit. And it was like $500 a bottle or something. And I drank it and it was like smooth, like butter. I've never had anything like this in my life. And I was like, wow, this is great. And I drink three of these little bitches and I'm just sitting here like minding my own business. And I like become self-aware. I'm like, oh my God, I'm fucked up. And I like ran to the bed and laid on the bed and then I blacked out and I woke, <laughs> woke up at 3 a.m. I opened my eyes. No shit, Rosa. I opened my eyes. Didn't move. Opened my eyes and just projectile vomited at the wall. <laughs> and then closed my eyes. <laughs> I was like, right, I'm done. I'm good. And the girl, I had a girl that was uh, that was in the bed that I had met. And uh, she got up and fucking left. And then see her again. 
Yeah, that's 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 right. you know, it, was a, it yeah. was a crazy. It was a crazy. Never again. Never. Again. If you ever taste alcohol and you're like, wow, this doesn't even taste like that. This is weird. Yeah, you fucking stay away. Yeah, that that that's stuff's dangerous. Oh um, fuck you up, bro. You'll have. Yeah. So my, my situation over. with Everclear was, uh, I was at like a like a little like chill like like a Cuban restaurant with my family. It was after work. It was after a, a, a late a late day, uh, managing at GameStop where I stayed an hour past to fucking like deal with the rest of the fucking boxes. Yeah, and then my my stepmom was like, "Hey, I know it's almost midnight, but we're hanging out at this like little Cuban restaurant." It's like, okay, so I went over, I hung out, right? And my stepmom's drinking, and I was like, "Oh, I'll get something to drink as well." And she gets competitive, right? <laughs> and I'm not the competitive type, but I think it's funny that she gets competitive, so I get competitive too. And so, uh, <laughs> I order a fucking mule. I can't remember what uh, what all was in it, but I remember specifically asked for the juice to be replaced with gin, right? Yeah, I drank. I drank half the mule, right? My stepmom caught up to me, and then I noticed they had Everclear, so I asked them to fill the rest of it up with Everclear. I had never had Everclear before. In my head, I was oh like, yeah, it's fine. God. How much How much worse can 95% be than 70? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and so oh. I'm taking sips of this. I'm like, wow, that's pretty strong. And then they're like, okay, it's time to go. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, it's like almost one in the morning. It's time for us to go. And I'm like, I just got, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not going to waste this alcohol. I paid for this shit. Oh, no. So I, I, I slugged it, right? I just chugged it down, drove home straight away. Oh, I remember what? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Yeah. So I, I got home perfectly <laughs> fine, right? I, I go, I, I sit down in my fucking chair, pull out my phone and check out Twitter, right? Someone made like fan art. And I was like, wow, that's so like that's so nice. And then I started typing, like, you know, I started typing how much I love the like the, the the fan art. And that's when I realized I was like, oh, I'm kinda I'm kinda fucked right now. I can't type for shit. And so I'm like messaging people like I care about. Like I, I've learned that I'm like I'm very much like a lovey drunk. I'd never known this before, but this is when I learned that. Uh and I remember I was talking to V about it, and V was like, how fucked up are you? And I was like, I'm pretty fucked up. I, I drank this. And V was like, you need to go to the bathroom and vomit. You weigh 95 pounds. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's my favorite, though. Like, my, my absolute favorite kind of drunk is lovey drunks. They're the best. <laughs> I'm like that shit. I, you, I, when I get drunk, I text mm -hmm. my friend Zia immediately. I'll get like, I'll get four out of ten, and I'm like, I just I start grabbing my phone and I'm like, my mind is like don't do this and I'm like <laughs> and I'm like don't do this and I'm just texting her I'm like sit on my face <laughs> I can't help it I can't help Hello? it bro take, please come but, here um, and take your draws off I can't help it it's weird <laughs> but uh, yeah so I I, I so the thing about me is I don't have a gag reflex so V's telling me to throw up stick my finger in my throat etc right and i'm just like i'm just like v i'm finger blasting my uvula nothing is happening and v's like well you pray you're gonna fucking die <laughs> so the night passes right at some point i pass out i remember everything i didn't black out at any point during this i remember all of it right i remember feeling like shit and i spent three days just feeling sick and not being able to eat anything even remotely greasy uh before i fucking threw up i spent three days feeling sick before my body was like, hey, this is still here. You need to get rid of this. Alcohol poisoning. Hey, you got, you got yeah. fucked, bro. It was, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I remember I was in the shower and I was like, I, am I going to throw up? No, I'm not going to throw up. Am I going to throw up? I'm going to throw up. And then I, I fucking threw up and I felt like I got stabbed in the fucking gut. Oh, like, man. it was like, it was bad. I laid down the floor, like, wet and naked. I called my fucking, my dish manager and I was like, hey. Oh, no. I hate, to, I hate to call out, like, an hour before work, but I can't move. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Okay, look, I have, I, have to tell you, I have to tell you a story now because you just triggered a story because um, GameStop. So this one time, I was my wife had just left, and I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to party. So I didn't drink at this time, but I started drinking slowly. And this girl, this blonde girl, invited me to go to the club with her. I don't go to clubs, but I went with her. And she had like, mm -hmm. every, and she's of course, you know, she's college blonde girl, hot as hell, and all her friends are there with her. It's like a girl's not all hot as hell, and I'm the only guy there. And I go out, and they start just feeding me well whiskey shots. All these girls, <laughs> like, oh, do you, you do? Oh. and I'm just like, okay, I'm just like, I'm a badass. I'll do this. And the night goes into warp speed, and I remember walking upstairs, and I woke up next to my car in a parking garage at 8 a.m. <laughs> and I had to, I had to be at the store at 8:30. So I just ran, I went straight from the club, like parking lot, whatever the hell, to the mm -hmm. uh, store, and I worked until one. I was 
fuck. I was like throwing up everywhere and I wasn't drunk. I was just so hungover. And I worked till yeah. one and then I, my, my relief got in and I called in a part timer for nine hours and I dipped the hell out. I was like, I'm out, dude. Uh, God, it was like, the, and I was sick for like three days, like, cause I had alcohol poisoning. I didn't eat anything because back mm. then my diet was peak. I, my, my cut diet, I ate a cut diet almost year round and I was shredded. So I ate chicken and rice and I ate chicken and rice and went to the club and drank. This is like the worst thing you could possibly do. And I about died. <laughs> I about died, Squid. He says, drinking alone is dangerous. You never know if you go only have two drinks or down a full bottle of rum. Thank you, Squid. For your orange boy, the first orange boy, by the way, of the Ooh. night, putting us one red boy from a rainbow night. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, Squid. I keep burping and it's killing me. It's killing me, man. I, I, drinking alone is like my usual. So at some point, you like master the art and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting that point. Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, no. See, drinking alone is dangerous for me because um, I, get, I, I was doing it last year a lot, like mm. the last couple months of the year. And uh, I was really enjoying it. Like, I, it was just really relaxing to sit mm -hmm. at my computer downstairs in my, my music studio is where I usually sit at my computer. And I'll I'll be just, you know, sipping on a White Claw or something back when I was drinking those. And mm -hmm. I would just be, I'd just be watching, like, mystery documentaries and fucking playing yeah. Resident <laughs> Evil 2. And I'm, like, kind of blitz. And I'm just, like, fucking playing games. Like, And I'm just having the best night of my life. I had this, this girl that I, like, barely know. And I'm in her Discord. And... Uh, they just started a Discord call, and my dumbass joins it until 5 a.m. And I'm just talking to random <laughs> people until 5 a.m., just playing Resident Evil 2 and drinking. Yeah, and I enjoy it too. That much. like a vibe. I, I just I, I'm a control freak, so like this, the moment I start feeling tipsy, I'm like, I, I hate everything that's about to happen. I'm gonna stop. Like that, that's just the way I am. Like uh, unless oh, I drink yeah. enough to like get drunk before I even feel it. Like if I drink enough at once, then okay. Then I'll, like I'll, get, pounds, I'll, I'll get tipsy. Tip but the second I start feeling, it, I stop. My friend, my, my my old roommate Tiny, she would drink two shots of whatever, and she'd be pretty pretty good. And then she'd cry because that's what she did, right? <laughs> um, but she'd cry every damn time. And I'm like, stop crying, damn you! Like, <laughs> um, but no, dude, she get she get wrecked immediately. So I can't believe I can't even imagine you being. No, I I, I I can drink I can drink quite a bit. It's uh, so weird. It's like my my first more. ever. So for context, my first ever like stream outside of like my debut stream, right? So we're talking like two years ago and like a little bit more than that. Uh, the first stream I ever did that wasn't like the debut or like the post debut, like asking, answering questions or whatever, right? I was playing Bloodborne. I told chat I would take a shot every time that I died. Oh, and then I proceeded, to, I proceeded to not die for an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I told chat, okay, fine. I'll also take a shot every time I kill a boss, right? Just to make this interesting. I also took yeah. a shot at the very start of the stream. By the end of the night, I had 17 shots of rum. Within How like do you four not hours. die from that? Do you eat like a lot of Mexican food before or something? No, not particularly. I, I don't really like Mexican food. It's too spicy. Speaking, uh, of, what? Speaking of Bloodborne, I have look at all these little bath messengers I have on my arm. That's cute. Bloodborne. I I, yeah. I I I would show you, but I have uh I actually have uh Carol runes from Bloodborne's on my finger, uh, on my fingers. But That's I, cool, I fucked up that question, that fucking sentence. Uh, I have uh I have the air rune on my thumb. I have the oh, so you're just a little badass. My... I didn't know. See, you're oh I yeah, I'm covered in tats. We're well, not covered, person. but like I have, I have tats different places, you know. We're the same person. We both love Bloodborne. We have Bloodborne tattoos. Um, mm -hmm. We both worked at GameStop. We both have no gag reflex. Look at that. We're the same person. <laughs> Jay, Jay the Swiss. Thank you, my man. Uh, thank you. Shout out to this dude uh, dropping five dollars on every video, every stream I release on both channels. I really appreciate that, man. I love you. Um, BG Corporation says legal mindset has been killing it as well lately. Thanks to legal troubles with some of the Asian VTuber companies. Sorry for late Ooh, super chat. I'm about 10 minutes behind BG. You're good. You're goaded. And I love you, dude. I'm, I'm so happy to see Andrew doing so well. He's deserved it. Um, he's been one of the hardest working people on YouTube for years and not getting his, his due. And he is, he's finally getting some just bangers and it's so cool to see. So good, good on him. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about like legal mindset recently. He's a good like, dude. He's been on my show a yeah. couple of times and, He's just a real good dude. And we've drunk together in real life. He's like seven foot tall. It's ridiculous. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. He's un it's unbelievable. Um, Man's you don't almost notice. two feet taller than me. That's wild. You don't notice when he's like on the camera. On and camera? People, yeah. People think I'm tall. I'm 5'11. That's pretty That's, tall. Yeah, it will. Nah, Tim Pool is 5'11 too, apparently. And everybody well, was yelling. Well, depending on who you ask. Some, some, some women will tell you that you're a midget, but you know. That's true. I've had little tiny girls call me like short. And I'm like looking down at them. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus, girl, come on now. Give me something, something to be happy about in life. You should motivate Rosa to start working out. See, okay, so this is this is the thing. 
it's so hard. It, it's so hard to, especially when you're little, like that's harder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I, I trained tiny for years and she got pretty jacked. Um, but you got to go to the gym. You got to be the gym five days a week and you got to be eating fucking mac and cheese, bro. And I know it sounds stupid, but when you're, when you're more prone yeah, to being yeah. slim and you're more, you're you have small, to like constantly eat. You have to eat like pizza and shit. Like, I know it sounds yeah. stupid, but yep. I'm the opposite. I have to eat grilled I... chicken, eight ounces, white rice, <laughs> fourth cup cooked. That's it. Or else I'll be obese. Yeah. I, I remember like uh, all my life, I, I, like, I, like, I, I'll go to the doctor and my mom's like, oh, like, what's wrong with her? Why the fuck won't she gain weight? And it's just like, well, what's she eating? And it's just like, well, she eats fucking everything. She treats her stomach like a fucking garbage disposal. She drinks, she eats, she's like, she does fucking everything, right? She's just constantly shoveling food down her fucking mouth. Where's the rest? And of it's it? just like, well, where does it go? I don't know, dude. I, I spent I spent two weeks in Cuba back in 2018. I was having like full like this is this isn't a good time. There's food, there's food, and the food's good, right? And so I'm I'm having I'm having breakfast every morning, right? I'm having having lunch. I'm having like I'm sitting down having like a full massive plate of food, right? Yeah. I'm having lunch twice a day because I would go up to where my great aunt lives and she'd be like, oh my god, have you eaten yet? And I'm like, no, because her cooking's fucking yummy. And so I, in this entire fucking two weeks of constantly eating tons of fucking food, right? I gained two pounds, right? I went up to 98. <laughs> this is the most I've ever weighed. I've never weighed more than 98 before. I've never hit 99, right? And it, can you believe my entire time I'm shoveling food in my fucking mouth? I only shat twice. You only shat twice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only shot twice. I wasn't bloated, like no issues. Where is it going? Fine. Where does Where it go? Is <laughs> it's like um, it's like magic. It's just magic. You might have a tapeworm. That's you know what? That's not the first time I've heard that. Yeah, because I think uh, Brittany Venti had a tapeworm for a while. I wish I'd have. I, I would love to have a tapeworm while I'm cutting and just get shredded. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's not how that works. June Bug says this is the first time I've seen Rosa. Well, welcome, June Bug. Um, cryo, cry, 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 genocide says rosa will you ever get your medusa tattoo redone is it bad or something oh no so okay so my first ever tattoo if you've ever seen soul leader um it's a character in that called medusa and she has like dots up her arm with like a snake yeah and i'm i watched Soul Leader when I was in middle school so that was like the coolest shit ever to me i fucking love this character right and then when i became an adult i remember i remember that as a kid i said i wanted that to do and I was thinking about what I wanted for my first tattoo, and I remembered that, and I was like, that's still fucking cool. And if after this many years, I still think that's fucking cool, I'm not going to regret it. So yeah. I went to get it done, and uh, I had, actually, I had my manager at the time uh, hook me up with the guy. And so I went to get it done, and the dude didn't like the design, so he changed a couple things. It's my first tattoo, so I was like, oh, okay. I was, you know, I was kind of timid. I was like, yeah, whatever, it's fine, cool. I don't really know what's going on. I don't, I don't know if I'm, this is going to hurt. I don't, well, I know it's going to hurt. I don't know like, how, if I'm going to tolerate it. I don't know. For the most part, like, I typically handle pain pretty well, but we'll see what happens, right? The dude's talking about doing it in two sessions, because, I mean, I'm really small, it's my first one, blah, blah, blah. I just sat there for four hours, and he got it done. That's um, how you do it. Just That's nothing. how you do it. I did so, all of it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's fine, we're good. And I, like, it's okay, but he really simplified the design. Like, he, instead of having, like, two lines of dots, he only made it one, and then he completely changed the snakehead design. And at the time, I was like, yeah, this is fine. But like as like more times pass, I've gotten more tattoos. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna leave a slot open for that, so I can maybe like retouch that later. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, eventually, wh whenever I have like lots of like IRL things to take care of first, and then once all those things are taken care of, once I have like a place to live where I'm comfy, and I have like excess money, I'll be like, okay, let's go figure out this tattoo. But it's not a priority at the minute. Yeah, I'm re I'm retired. A Alistair says Alistair Lowell. Lowell, I'm stupid. Rosal. Isn't real. So things from this world have no effect on her. Thank you, I <laughs> appreciate you. Um, she's not real. That's she's my manager. Uh, Steve Chino, my diet is Jenna Ortega. I'd eat. I'll eat her all day, every day. I don't know. This this sounds like this sounds like a name I should know, but I don't know. Ah, uh, so yeah, gonna, she was Google. in that. Uh, she was in that Wednesday show. She was like the main little girl. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna Google. Something oh, about... she's the. Yeah, she's the Hispanic chick. And there's something about Hispanic chicks. I don't know. I love Hispanic chicks. They're like easily uh, my favorite. It's just they're like psycho jealous, which is whatever. Yeah. Um, well, they're just psychos in general. Yeah, but there's something about like like uh, going and munching on one. I don't know. I've I've, I've never thought about it, but I, I don't know. It's uh, something. I, I, I bet you they taste lot. delicious. I don't know. That's what you I'm trying to be careful. They, they might be like like those like poisonous dart frogs. Like it's like, oh, this is yummy. And then you die. 
<laughs> you, you never know. know. You never know. Not because their cousins show up to kill you. Thank you, Steve Chino. I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, it shows up. How dare you fucking oh, eat God. my girlfriend? <laughs> Ask Rosa about her food taste, barbecue on rice. What barbecue on rice? I feel like that'd be good. Yeah, it's good. It's fucking delicious. Yeah, I love barbecue. I, I it's ate fucking delicious. Pork. Chats, yeah, chats bullied me like for 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 this take for forever. I've been telling people I've been I've been spreading the gospel about barbecue on rice, and everyone's like, no, no, it's terrible. And then I found out the fucking Asians put that soy sauce crap on like literally everything. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? You also had a yeah. problem with barbecue on rice, but this is fine. Doesn't make sense because if you said barbecue on like ice cream, yeah, I'd be like gross. But rice, that seems like a normal thing. I mean, you put yeah. barbecue on anything, especially something that's like carby. I feel like that'd be delicious. Yeah, you know, it's fucking delicious. Hell yeah! If I, if I ever have like nothing to go with like my rice, I just I just put some barbecue sauce in there. Boom, done. Okay. I used to eat ketchup sandwiches when I lived in the trailer park. What does that mean? What's a ketchup sandwich? It's, it's just a ketchup. It's two pieces of bread with some ketchup in it, man. Oh, that's I mean, that's was. fine. That's fine. Yeah, I lived uh, I, I, when I, when you were in the trailer park and my parents didn't like buy food ever. I just ate I ate uh, ketchup sandwiches. It's hilarious. Uh, uh, what I would do is I, I would eat uh, I would eat toast sandwiches, which I later found out is an actual British food. I, I didn't know that. I, I, I thought I just invented that. But no, apparently the, <laughs> the Brits have been have been eating toast sandwiches for years. Oh, British food. I was talking to Disbrew, my buddy Disbrew, about British food. And uh, I'm like, it's trash, right? And he's like, yep. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, because he lives there. Arikas says, that's the problem with some artists. They sometimes forget to serve the client. Yeah, uh, my guy was real cool because he let me do everything super cheap as long as he got to design everything. That's um, cool so, as fuck. And he's a super awesome artist. Uh, and um, yeah, That's just, super yeah. cool. I was like, design whatever you want, baby. I reckon I appreciate you. For your gold boy, we're closing in on Naked Snake. We're almost halfway there. Thank I you. had a I had a similar situation when I got my uh I was in Colorado a couple years ago. Uh for my first ever vacay. Fucking like like three years into working at GameStop. I got my first ever vacay, then I came wow. back, worked for a month and quit. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh I I was in Colorado for, for like a week. And while I was there, I was like like the last couple days, I was like, I wonder if I can get it like a tour just like Get something done before we go. I, I just want to have a, 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 a I got this in Colorado tattoo. Yeah. And uh, I went to an artist and I was like, ah, I, I was thinking about ideas. And I was thinking, I asked, I asked you, I asked chat, I asked like, like my Discord. I was like, oh, like what should I get? And someone suggested getting a, a, an Ouroboros, like a snake eating itself. Yeah. And so I have a tattoo of a, of a snake eating itself on my wrist. And the guy designed it overnight and then did it the next day, just all one and done. And it wasn't like terribly expensive. It was like one, one fifty. Yeah, on that's, 60, that's someone that ballpark. Like it was, it was pretty good. Mine was it was four hundred for this one, and then it's almost like that was like the paying your dues, and then every time after it was two hundred, and it was seven sessions for seven hours a piece. That's and pretty good. It took about it took about two years with scheduling, but uh, yeah, and then it finally was over, and I was like, yep, never getting another tattoo. And then I got I got <laughs> cat, I got cat dog right beside my penis, and then I never got another tattoo because <laughs> that's where cat dog would go. Renee. I put barbecue on my mac and cheese. That sounds actually fantastic, to be fair. Yeah. I so, um, yeah, I'm all about it. I think barbecue sauce goes good on just about anything. Yeah, I would put A1 on mac and cheese back in the day. I love that shit. Thank you, Renee. I appreciate you. The gold boys are flying tonight. Um, Jedi Knight of the Snyder Colt says, can we watch that awful Yara trailer? No, because I already what? watched it the other day, and it it literally aged me like five years. What's Yara? Um, it's this... Uh, uh, comic book that um, the Ripperverse is uh, doing a campaign for right now, and they're gonna fulfill it. it the Ripperverse mm -hmm. um, is a uh, this guy Eric July has his company, and they he's been making comic books, and they do really really well. Um, and they released a trailer for this their upcoming book called Yaira, and it just was not it was bad. It was it's a tra I mean, look, it's it doesn't mean the book's gonna be bad or anything. Um, I'm sure the book will be fine. The art looks good. I don't really read much comic books. It's just uh, the trailer in general was real bad. And I was like, oh, I, I watched mean. it. I was like, oh, oh. I was like, damn, this is rough. Now, granted, it's their first thing. I get it, but damn, it's pretty rough. Uh, but I'm sure they'll they'll uh, hone their skills on it, you know. So, um, Patrick Todd, I go for half white, half Latina girls. It dilutes the insane jealousy. I doubt it. I yeah, doubt it. I, I, I don't I don't believe you. <laughs> so I had a I hooked up with a Latina girl one time and I told her, I'm like, dude, I don't do relationships. I mainly just smash a pisser and move on. And she's like, okay, cool. She didn't care. She's like, yeah, that sounds great. And then I, you know, we 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 hook up and then fucking three the next days day later, she wants to marry her. Yeah. The three days later, I had another girl over. Um, this like 
Scottish looking chick. She had like red hair and like really fair skin. She's beautiful. Hot. But she had Hot. no personality at all. Which Oof. is what so and this freaking Latina my doorbell rings, bro. Like I'm hanging out with this girl upstairs. We're watching Interstellar or some shit. And my doorbell rings and I go down the stairs and look up and it's just it's fucking Hispanic girl standing there. And I like open the door and I'm like, what's up? Like, what's what's going on? And she was just holding like some food. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Like chicken That's and the dumplings. most Latino shit I've ever heard in yeah, my fucking it, life. I think it was like chicken and dumplings or something ridiculous because I told her I love chicken and dumplings, which I do. And she was like, yeah, I'm just bringing you this. And I was like, oh, cool. And she's like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, then, yeah, I'm just hanging out. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she like left. And then uh, she called me an asshole like a month later because we hung out like one more time. And then I didn't hang out with her again. And she just like messaged me and said I was an asshole at like 3 a.m. And then blocked me. And I was like, what the fuck? You bitch. She's crazy as hell. Thank you, Patrick. Luckily, she didn't have any cousins to come kill me. Mm-hmm. So that's what happens, man. She'll, she'll send her cousins. Yeah. They're like, oh, you hang out with uh, Consuelo? <laughs> like, uh, no, I don't know her. Oh, this is the right house, Holmes. What's up? You're like, no, I'm sorry. They just fucking start beating you. And they're all bald. Why are they bald? They're all just beating my ass. This is four Hispanic dudes. Mm-hmm. Just beat my ass in my own front that's yard. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's the best yeah, I'm just, I'm just passing some guesses. Uh, I, I, I'm from like South Florida, so we have like everything down here. Ah, oh, gross. South Florida. Ugh. I was in South Florida recently. Yeah. I was in South Florida a few weeks or about a month ago. It was a bad experience. <laughs> yeah. We didn't it's qualify. Not great down here. We were running the NASCAR race at Daytona and I didn't qualify and I was really beat up, so I got drunk. Um, Renee, showing some Puerto Rican love. Thank you so much, Renee. Yeah. Uh, Renee's too good to me. Too good My to me, Renee. Carabiner. Carabiner. Oh damn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Band. No. I don't actually know how that works. Um you, I think you can be racist towards Hispanic people as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you, are you, racist like, you can, each other and everybody else. You can be, <laughs> you can wear a sombrero with a damn poncho and shit and be like, go up to a Mexican dude in Mexico and be like, ah, bah, 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 and then fist bump him and he'll be like, hey, yep. you know, they yep. don't care. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, it is cool. Like uh, if you do that in freaking on Tuscaloosa Avenue. Yeah, like, that's what happens when you come from somewhere where there's actual like things, important shit that like you know that matters. Like, yeah. who gives a fuck? <laughs> you, go to, you, you go to Tuscaloosa Avenue and you wear a chain, and you're like, "What's up?" And like, go to fist pump uh, like a black dude. He'll just be like, "What?" And he'll just beat the hell. Out. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, shit. I, I thought I was cool. He's like, "No, what the hell are you doing?" I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm I'm an ally. God, Jesus. Oh god, yeah. There's a place I grew up. Uh, there's a street called Tuscaloosa Avenue, and if you drove mm-hmm. down it at 2 a.m., you would get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not I, I uh, God. So I, I, I grew up like around like the like the hood kind of area, right? Uh, when I was down here, and eventually kind of moved out of that area into more like a like into the Hispanic hood, as we could really call it. And it's That's different. Better. You know, it's it's everyone. Everyone's the same, so no one bothers you. It's yeah, you know, that that weird, you know. It's and, more family oriented. Um, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, God, I remember, um, so when I left Lucid, or right before I left Lucid, well, I was suspended, right? So the thing with Lucid, right? So I, I was in Lucid for nine months. They bought, they actually bought the Rosa IP for my old company. So, like, wow. fucking, yeah, they're, they're epic for that. I, I love them to death for that. Um, and I got suspended over the dumbest shit. Uh, basically, I said the word retarded, uh, on Twitter. And I, I, I didn't just say the word. I made a fucking post about the word explaining why the people that are fucking, like, freaking out about it and like tossing shade at the fucking like at disabled folks because they can't fucking handle being called an idiot right yeah it's fucked right like like it's just people fucking using you know like lose less fortune as a fucking shield and i made a whole like fucking thing about this a whole post right and yeah. uh i got suspended for this which is the dumbest thing because like very rarely do you say something on twitter and then not get into an argument yeah. This is one of those rare times where everyone was just like, oh, we disagree, and then we just had talking about it. We had actual fucking conversation on Twitter. Crazy. And I got suspended over this for 10 days. Oh and my god. Over the during work. those 10 days, I was like, well, I could stay. I really like working for this company. But I, I'm i not... And I, I will say, like, I, I I, did not benefit from going indie. Like, I, I, am, I am a fucking... I am a wreck. <laughs> Without, like, guidance, I am, I am, I am a wreck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... But I don't know. I I I am the kind of person that, like puts their values above everything else. It's just like ah, I feel like I was kind of like I, th- this isn't right, and so I, I fucking left. And while I was on, uh, like while I was suspended, I convinced the CEO 
to come down to Florida and we hung out for a day. <laughs> um, and uh, we were hanging out for a day and we were, it was super late at night, right? So like, it's like the end of the night, I'm driving him to, it's like, I swear to God, it's like, it's like one in the morning and we're driving to a, like we, we spent all day together. We, we had some drinks, we went home, right? I, I took him back to his hotel, I went home, we had a nap and then we hung out again later at night. One in the morning, we went to go, I was taking him to a pool bar where you can basically, you know, you, can, you play pool and you drink and yeah. food, right? And they're open till like four in the morning. It's great. And as we're getting there, right, we're, we're passing through this, like, this, uh, this, like, junction. And, and he's like, oh, what's down that way? That, that area looks, like, badly <laughs> lit. And I'm like, that, my friend, is the ghetto. And he's like, oh, can we just drive through there? I just want to see what it's like. And I was like, no. <laughs> was he a lot, no, we he a lot, he a lot person? Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's Korean. Oh, uh, no, nah, that makes even more sense. Oh, I want to see it. It's like, no, you don't understand. Yeah, I was, not, like, not I was like, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, no, no. At this <laughs> hour? No, sir. <laughs> it's like, like, you're about to get culturally enriched, bro, and it's not the way you think. Okay. Fucking, they're going to fucking culturally enrich the fucking soil with your corpse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I was like, absolutely not. And then we fucking drove to the pool place and we had drinks and he kicked my ass at pool. He's really good at pool. Yeah, um, I'm sometimes good, and it, I'm either real bad or I'm amazing. It's really weird. I don't understand how it works. So I wish it was better. <laughs> mm-hmm. I killed somebody. At, I was at the strip club recently, and I nuked somebody into orbit at pool. And I was like, "Damn!" I like didn't miss a single shot. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I, 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 I have days like that where I'm just like, I'm just randomly really good at this. God has blessed me today. Yeah, and, and I, then, I yeah. To today I, I am. This is my domain now. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa Chan is unmanageable. 200 yeah. yen. 200 yen? What do you think this is? Hey, hey, my, my <laughs> new manager is doing okay. All right, he's doing a decent job. I, I actually scheduled streams for the first time in months. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I, dude, dude, I haven't missed a, I have not missed a stream for more than six days because of extenuating circumstances, like I'm in Phoenix racing or something. I have not missed a stream for more than six days in almost five years. Wow. Uh, it's been a long time. But see, I I can't. I have this weird thing where I'm afraid to disappoint everybody. You know? Hmm. Like yeah, that which is why it broke my heart when Pippa like was mad at me. I was like, no. No. Yeah. yeah do you know what happened with that? Uh vaguely? I, yeah. I if memory serves, you posted like a picture of like a girl. Yeah. At like at like your place and yeah. like you told people that it was Pippa like as a joke. Yeah, and so people took it seriously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, there's like there was this girl I was training at the gym. Mm-hmm. She's like one of my best friends, and I posted like a ton of pictures of her, of her on Twitter before. She's just this hot blonde girl, and she was just sitting on my uh, she was like sitting on my couch in my music studio, and I just took a picture of her and I put a tiny little emoji over her freaking nose and eyes, and I was like, "LOL, just totally uh, hanging out with not Pippa," because like it's it's not Pippa. That's the funny part, and also it's like a hot blonde. Girl. Obviously, it's not Pippa. And yeah. people thought that I they there was actually people <laughs> that thought it was Pippa, and I was reverse psychologying, and everybody was yeah. like, oh, "That's really Pippa. Why is she hot and in shape?" Um, and uh, <laughs> and I did not know. Now look, I know now, but I did not know that that was like a no go. You're like not even allowed to allude to what uh, people might actually dude, look like, and I had I've no been, idea. I've been in two companies, and I, I didn't know that was a fucking no go. But that's one of the things that someone sent me. Uh, a friend of mine like sent me that. He's like, "Oh, I, I, I hope he doesn't do this with you." And I was like, "I, I think that's fucking funny. <laughs> I hope he does." He roses goaded. <laughs> what the fuck? It's yeah, fucking I'm, hilarious. I'm confused. I'm. I feel. I feel. Uh, I feel slotted. I. I here. Here. I. I, I can tell you what it is. I can, I can tell you what it is. I can tell you what it is. So I, as 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 uh, as Kuro said, I, I'm unmanageable, right? So I, the first company I was in was a Japanese company, right? I didn't know that we weren't supposed to talk about real world musicians. I talked about real world musicians in my fucking like debut stream. <laughs> I I I don't I didn't know. I didn't know that there's like weird fucking like corpo VTuber rules. No one explained this shit to me. They just expected me to know it. Right? I didn't know I wasn't supposed to fucking collab with anybody for like two, three weeks. I collab with someone the same fucking night of my yeah. fucking debut. <laughs> yeah. And so at some point, right, management's like, ah, oh, you know what, we fuck it. They just gave up, right? Yeah. And that's kind of the, what I've kind of been around always. And no one has yet to explain to me the, like, weird fucking cryptic nuances of all these fucking weird, like, like, foreign fucking VTuber companies. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And 
it, look, this is the thing that sucks is damage is done. And like Pippa yeah. messaged me and she's like, are you mad at me? And I'm like, no, I, this is, I didn't know this was a fucking issue. I like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I was sorry. And she's like, oh, that's cool. And we talked back and forth. And, um, then her, her management sent me like a, a bullet point list on how to apologize. And, uh, <laughs> I've been out of I've been out of the corporate environment. I worked in the corporate environment for 13 years and I'm out of it. So as soon as somebody tells me what to do in like a very corporate yeah. way, it Im immediately sends me. Mm -hmm. So of course I, I apologized in my own way and it just made things worse. And then uh yeah, Pippa obviously isn't my friend anymore and I get it. So but I just thought it was so silly. And uh, I regret it now, obviously, because Pippa yeah. and me were bros and I love Pippa. But um now everybody thinks I hate Pippa and or vice versa, and everybody has these like weird uh things about the yab like there's a conspiracy and like me and pippa dated or something i'm like what the fuck is wrong y'all oh, god she's on my stream once jesus and like everybody it's just wait it's it's, it's, Dude, it's just insane it's sad the insane. fucking vtuber fans are fucking insane man yeah They're matt amos insane. too late bro we're constantly disappointed thank you matt amos i appreciate you uh pop pop says rosa I don't think people will chase after you with pitchforks for talking to Camelot like a certain other cluster that happened before. Snake is a good girl. Fiery. Foul mouth. But still. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Appreciate you. Yeah, Our gold yeah, boy, it's... by the way. Thank you. Gold boy in the house. Give him some love. What's up? Yeah. Bitch, you're wrong. Get... Oh, shit. Wrong one. Thank you. I appreciate you. Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Yeah. Oh, no. Billy says, I plan on doing a face reveal at 1K subs. Uh, if you're wanting to lose all of them, I would not do that. Yeah, that, that's a bad idea. Don't do face reveals. Don't do reveals. it, Billy. Don't, don't you, I've, I've met Billy. Billy, I've, I've, I've seen you in a lot. Don't do it. Come on. <laughs> I'll unsub if you do it. I'll unsub if you your ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Billy. This is a joke. Um, Become best friends though, with Rosa Chun. Wow, we're like uh, probably six hours from each other. We'll go drink. Whiskey. Maybe. I don't know. No, it's happening. You fucking you can't buy out. You I'm not big on whiskey, dude. I, I, I've learned. I've learned. I've asked so many people, right, like what alcohol they like, and I've always noticed that the people that really like gin don't like whiskey, and the people that really like whiskey don't like gin. Listen. Am I am I seeing things? You were talking such a damn game 20 minutes ago. You're like, I'm the most badass tiny bastard. I can drink 80 shots. I can eat. Well, eat wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. In all fairness, in all fairness, I, ha I haven't drank, I haven't like properly sat down and had like hard liquor since like July. Wait, what? Not even That's like, like a year, June man. of last year. Yeah, it's been a fucking while. Uh, oh, so there's there's a really just... sad story attached. I got really fucked up for an entire day. I spent an entire night drinking. I had an entire bottle of gin and an entire bottle of Jaeger in the same like like the same twelve hour like night. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got fucked up, and I was like, I I I just I don't know. I I smell, I taste gin, and it like it makes me feel like. Eh, uh, mm. Yeah, I get no. I totally get that. So, this is what I do. Okay, Rosa. So I'm I, I go to Vegas every year around April. And uh, or February, depending on if the schedule lines up. Mm -hmm. We were racing Daytona, <laughs> not racing Daytona, um, in okay. February. So I'm going uh, in two weeks. I'm going to Vegas, and okay. I always, I always get this really big presidential suite, and I split it between like two peeps, and it's it's kind of technically a tax write off if you're doing content, and mm -hmm. it's it's like three or four grand, but for like three or four days, but you get like a sauna. It's it's like a mansion. It's the greatest shit. There's a grand piano, and I can shred on it and get drunk and shred. It. I love it. Um, <laughs> and dude, oh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm just thinking. It sounds you, nice. You keep talking about drinking. I'm just like fuck. I haven't drank. <laughs> I haven't drank in a whole like week and a half. Um, but I, I don't plan to until April, uh, tenth when I get to Vegas. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. If any of you go to the F and T meetup, please. Let me know so we can hang out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bebis, Papa's, 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 says, also, Cam, well, I don't think people was mad at you, but her agency was 50 kinds of pissed about it. She probably would tell them found sand to come back. Nah, 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 I think she was legit pissed. I mean, she seemed pretty pissed in DMs. Um, we kind of talked it out, but it doesn't benefit her. Pippa's way too talented, and she has too much going yeah. on. Um, I don't want to hinder her in any way. Yeah, she, 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 has, she has too much to lose, right? Like, in my case, Wait. I was like, ah, you know what? Fuck, I'm small enough. I don't give a shit. I'm out. I'm small. I'm right? small. Like, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I haven't reached the point where I have really anything to lose, so I just kind of do what the fuck I want. Um, yeah. But, like, in her position, right, where she's doing, like, really well with this company, right? She doesn't want to fuck she's that great. up. Yeah, she's fucking, she's, like, Yeah, she's holding, killing it. She's carrying that company on her tiny little back. Pop Scott, just now realized I'm five minutes behind. Uh, by the way, I saw Marion Holtzman in the chat. How you doing, baby? Hope you're doing well. Okay, all right. Renee, 
You guys are starting to super chat too fast now. I'm trying. It's becoming <laughs> chat the show. Pippa got in trouble for being on Cody's stream without her management position. Also true. Thank you, Renee. I appreciate you. Well, I just messaged her and she was like, "Y'all come on, fuck it." And I'm like, "All right, cool." And then I I, I, I destroyed the trust. <laughs> we <laughs> no, because we, we 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 went back and forth. Like we went back and forth on Twitter all the time, like yeah. with each other. She I posted a picture of me in a thong. Um. And she was like, this is the, she like quote tweeted it. And she's like, this guy right here, it says he's confused as to why gay men always DM him. And, I, and it's just me <laughs> this long. And I was like, well, it's, we keep going back and forth. And then uh, I, I was just doing it again. I was going back and forth with her and I did that. And it was like, I didn't know it was a fucking no, no. So, thank you, Renee. Yeah. I appreciate you. Um, thank you guys for all the super chats. We're halfway to Naked Steak. You guys are goaded. Thank you so much. Big kiss. Weird to you. fucking nuances of, uh, of, of that world. Yeah, well, everyone I mean, just expected to know. <laughs> well, you didn't even know because you, like you said, you were just roped into this shit. Yeah. Um, the a lot yeah. of these people that like they choose it and they're like yeah, they're already they're hyper involved in the culture before they even mm -hmm. start it. So that makes sense for them. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just it's weird you'd expect people like outside of that to like just know. That's what I'm you saying. Know? That's what I'm saying. See, we're bros. Whiskey time. <laughs> I might drink a little bit of Everclear. God, I don't want to drink vodka though. It sucks. That's like Aren't a white girl vodka? thing. You're not even a white girl. Why a white girl thing? Well, uh, I'm Cuban, right? So like of the grand, and I'm I'm of like the really white type of Cuban. So like <laughs> I like I, dude, I I am pale. Okay, I I am pale. Oh my god. All right, I I I. I there is somewhere out there the screenshot of my hand. Yeah. And a certain word that starts with N and ends with R. Oh, and no. my hand is just white. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Rosa. It's out there. Codal hand. Oh, no, you're not going to find it. I didn't, but ooh, it's definitely not on, on fucking Twitter. But Okay, yeah, I, cool. I, I, I was you, just going to, I was just going to Google yeah. image it so I could see how white you were. All right. Anyways. Um, I, I got you. I got you. I, I'll send it to your, to your Twitter. <laughs> Let's see how white you are. Marion Hoffman on uh, Rumble. Oh, my gosh. With a ginormous. Delicious, pulsating, veiny red boy says, "Stop caring about pe what people think. Learn this early because uh, that thing fucks you." Uh, I don't know if you're talking to me, but I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> I stopped caring about what people think when I was 14, or else I'd have killed myself a long time ago. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think you. If you, if you, you kind of had to, man, kids are fucking cruel. That's what I was. I mean, dude, if you, if you're on, if you're a content creator for more than a year. And you are still active after a year. You don't care what people think. <laughs> you can't because you would have you would have killed yourself. Thank you, Marion. Um, I think you're already on the car, but we're gonna put yeah, you, we're gonna put you on there for the fourth time. Marion Haltzman, Rumble is pulling up some steam as per usual. I thank you, Marion. I really appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for all your love and support. And I I agree with you wholeheartedly. You don't care about what people think. Um, but I talk about Billy Hatcher. He should care about what people think. Um, Rosa is so white, she reflects a lot. Yeah, it's true. I So I, I do streams where I play Dark Souls uh, one-handed. Or Dark Souls yeah. games. I, I'm, I'm currently doing Bloodborne one-handed. Uh, Wait, you're streaming and... this right now? Where at? On YouTube. But not right now. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll see you fucking Because I was like, dude, I will watch this. I'll I like unironically watch you play Bloodborne. Like, uh, I love Bloodborne. Yeah, I'm, 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 not streaming right. I'm here with you right now. <laughs> no, I'm not saying this second, you little <laughs> bastard. I'm saying like, in the future. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the next one's on Wednesday. I scheduled it. It's sometime this week. Bet. Um, I, 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 I did the first two episodes of it, of it uh, last week on Friday and Saturday. Uh, mm -hmm. and like, so my lights are not that bright, but they're bright enough that I just look. My skin looks like it's fucking like just white, right? And if I if I grab my phone like light and turn it on, like it'll like it is blindingly bright. Um. But yeah, I I, I typically so have my feet on camera and stuff. <laughs> of course, of course, you're that's what the, I would do. Yeah, you're, you're that's, what you weirdo. Would do. that's what you would do. No, I'm not into it, but I understand how everybody else is. I get it. I don't get it. I don't like. I don't like foot feet. They're gross. Um, picture of my hand. Thank you, Rosa. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, I mean, not Rosa. Fuck. I mean, they got see that now. I sound gay. That's not what I meant. I meant the person here, <laughs> the Japanese characters. God. Fuck. Penguin, yeah. penguin. His name is Penguin. Pe penguin, thank you, Penguin. Chaos Smash says Rose is a better VTuber than Lofty. <laughs> well, everybody's a better VTuber than Lofty. Come on. I don't know who Lofty is. That exactly. Chaos, I appreciate you so much. She love you. Uh, penguin says Rosa can play Dark Souls with her feet too. That's not true. That's not true. Don't 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 spread fucking misinformation. Don't spread lies. Somebody Liar. Sent me, somebody sent me a screenshot you. of your feet or something. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, now you're playing with one hand and then you just have your feet. 
Yeah, they're just there. You is this know? Dark Souls? This is this is Dark Souls, I think. Yeah, I I I, I finished Dark Souls two and three. God, they're so uh, good. They're the they greatest are, they're shit. So in the world. Good, I don't understand honestly. how anybody cannot like them. Elden Ring was an experience. Uh, so, you know, Dark Souls one, two, three, great game. Mm -hmm. Um, Demon Souls, great game. Bloodborne is like my favorite, but Elden Ring and the immersive world that was unbelievably just endless like i'd played it for over a month and i don't play games for over the month over a month i loved it god it was so good oh oh i i actually i i have a few gripes with elden ring oh uh, well before you before you ruin my whole life let me read renee uh, garza <laughs> uh galarza saying i love feed yeah that's something something hispanic about it i don't like it i don't like i like ass cheeks i like ass cheeks and lower backs and upper backs but not Fuck feet. It. There's a certain image I was gonna send you because it's fucking funny, and I I had it and then I lost it. I should have just sent it when I had it. Well, now it's gone forever. What are your grabs of the Elden Ring? Uh, man. So okay, where do I even fucking start? I have so many issues with this game. A lot of it just comes down to that. I feel like Elden Ring is very much like quality over quantity approach to like the Dark Souls formula, which is fine, right? Because like when you really think about it, like. FromSoft can afford to lose a bit of quality and still be a higher quality game than anything else being fucking put out on the market right now. Like, yeah. It's totally fine, yeah. right? Like, I, I remember I had this conversation with a friend of mine because I, I was playing God of War at the time, and, and he was like, oh, like, what are you enjoying more? And I was like, I'm enjoying God of War more, right? And he was right. like, oh, so you, think that, so you think that deserves game of the year? And I was like, fuck no. <laughs> yeah. Like, Elden Ring is killing it, right? Um, But I, I like, early on, had a lot of, like, balancing issues, which then later got addressed, so I don't have too many issues with that anymore. I still have a lot of issues with, like, the constantly repeated bosses, the like the just the insane scale of the world isn't full enough of things that but there's not necessarily things to do but like interesting things to do where you're not just running past shit constantly to get to your objective right um the the little dungeons a lot of them just feel like really like repetitive and oftentimes the rewards are mid right and it's just like i don't know a lot of it just kind of feels like like, I had to take a break. Like, I, I played this game for a couple months, and then I was like, this is not fun. And then I dropped it for several months, and then I watched, like, a fucking, like, tutorial, like, how to be overpowered, and I was like, wow, okay, wow, this this game actually feels okay now. And it's, like, a lot of it kind of feels like gimmicks, right? So, like, a lot of it feels like if you're not really building into, like, a gimmick or, like, a specific thing, whereas all the other games, right, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, and as long as you're, like, really good at the game, you're gonna be okay. Um, A lot of this, this game kind of feels, like, really gimmicky. Like, you can't just go in and put your stats wherever. You will fucking... You, you're gonna yeah. get fucked. Yeah. It feels like, uh, like it's it's a lot more focused in that regard, where you really have to get your build right. I, uh... I disagree. <laughs> That's I disagree. fine. That's valid. No. I, ugh, dude, I don't know. I did not... Uh, I didn't feel the repetitive nature. Everything was so nice and spread out. Now, granted, look, if any, I guess if it depends on if uh, like how much you've played the other Souls games, because the other Souls games do have violently different areas. Yeah. Like when, in Bloodborne, you're in the like uh, the Victorian era, like dark London, blah, blah, blah. And then like immediately you're in the, the dark forest, me, 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 different enemies. And then there's like the witch chicks. And then you go up to that one building. It's like a mansion and stuff on that hill. Mm -hmm. And then there, there's a lot of different environments, so I understand oh, yeah, that. Looking for. There you go. You can have that. Yeah. So Elden Ring, of course, is more. It's when you're outside, you're fucking outside. But yeah, when you get to the city, so okay, so like the first couple hours is, you know, I guess you could, it, I could, I could see it being repetitive in that first little area. But once you get to the 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 Sun City or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm -hmm. in that big ass city in the top right of the map and then you finally go yeah. to the snow area that's when it's all like it all starts changing drastically and then you get to the like fireplace and then the snow place and stuff like that yeah so so for me that's where it starts getting even worse <laughs> oh see so you know because, because you have no because like when you get up there you have all these like massive areas but they're like they're even more empty than they were before no like, I, I think not right? not the city right like the city's good the city's solid <laughs> but like the second you get past and you get like the snowy area like that place is so fucking empty. Is it because it's just snowing real hard and you can't see? No, bro. There's a skeleton. There, you. Go, there's a graveyard in the snowy area. You just run past it, and a giant skeleton just comes out of the ground and slaps your ass. Yeah, it's fucking like the, the fucking like tibia like skeleton boyos. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. But it's just like I don't know. Like I feel like there's just a lot of time where you spend on the horse 
just to then reach the final boss, which should have you should have been on the horse for, and then not have your horse. <laughs> That's that. I think that might be like my biggest gripe. Such mouth. Machel Malcheron says, "Be careful, Rosa. You don't want him to fall in love with you like he is with Pippa." Listen, and Cotton. And Cottontail. <laughs> Look, I don't love either. I would dick down Cottontail with the force of a thousand suns. That's no lie. But that don't. That's not love. That's just like relieving your balls. Um, thank you. I appreciate you, Malcheron, for so much. <laughs> You're so good to me. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, also, uh, Penguin says, Roger Chan is Dark Souls elitist. Lama, hey, 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 well, you forgot the important part of that. Dark Souls 2 elitist. <gasps> oh, my God. Dark Souls 2 <laughs> elitist. Thank you so much, Penguin. Joseph says, Bleed is so broken. Yeah, um, you know what else is broken? The, um, the, the magic, the faith. Uh, I can go on forever. Everything's I, I, I wasn't asking but... you. You little bastard. I was asking, <laughs> I was gonna, I was going into a thing. The thing is, the only thing I'll say that is overpowered is the mimic, and I love it. I love it. Like when I finally got mm -hmm. the mimic that was just me, but it was a mimic, it was like literally my ass, and I maxed that shit out. It, I would just send it at a boss and it would slap the boss to death in like two seconds. And I'm like, <laughs> that is fun to watch. I, I, I do it. feel like the, 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 like, the, like, the different tiers, like, the different, like, uh, the summons, I think that was a really good ad, just because for people that want, like, a more challenging experience, you can just go play by yourself. For people yeah. that, like, it's, it's, it's a weird way of adding a difficulty modifier, basically. Right. But I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Billy Hatcher says, I might do some streams where I play specific games, like every Pokemon game, but only certain ones, and even fan games. How about you play Resident Evil so I can watch? I ain't gonna watch you play Pokemon, I'm sorry. Pokemon is lame. So I ain't watch it. I only like the first Agreed. year. First gen, give me Bubble Zor and Pikachu and like maybe some Mewtwo, maybe. And because Mewtwo's got a fat ass. So I love women that look like Mewtwo. That's my That's super movie. valid. That is super valid. I love it. I love it. So that, that is it's said, such a great shape. Yeah, but if you play oh Pokemon uh Diamond Times Seven Un Unlimited Edition, fuck. No. Yeah. There's I too many. I like grew up with Pokemon and there was there was like a hard point where I was just like, all right, I'm done. My brain is done. I want no more of these. Stop putting these things in my fucking brain. There's too many. Uh, yeah, and that was like when they moved from like the DS to like, oh, you have to have it like a like a the was it 3DS? To play so it like X and Y. I was like, all yeah. right, cool. We're done here. I'm good. No, no, thank you. I'll, I'll pass. Like, no, thank you. I ended at gold. I think gold was the last one I ever played. Not hard gold, gold. God damn it. Um hmm. Chaos. Currently playing Azura's Wrath, having a blast. That's the one where at the end, the big giant space like uh, Asian dude is like punching you with his finger, and then you just fucking beat his ass. I think I might be thinking of the wrong game. Thank you, Chaos. Uh, Jonathan Feria says I've never played any of the Souls games, but I love Dragon's Dogma. <gasps> what are you guys option uh, opinion of uh, Dragon's Dogma? I played it <laughs> for a moment when it first came out, and then I never played it again, unfortunately. You need to go back. You need to go back. You need I was wearing a game, bro. I had like nine games checked out. <laughs> Yeah, be I. You know, fun fact: I actually never checked out a game of GameStop. That once. You why? I guess you that don't once. really need to. But that once. But I uh, really um, I just take I uh, dude, I before I hopped on here, I was actually watching uh my buddy Jazz uh go through his first playthrough of Dragon's Dogma. He's actually he he just killed the the dragon. He's like at the end, um, because he's trying to finish it before Dragon's Dogma two comes out, which yeah. comes out on a fucking Friday or Thursday night technically. I'm so fucking excited. I'm so excited. Man, I'm so excited. I, I, I miss playing games a lot. I, I I I get to this I get to this weird level of stress where I can't do anything mm -hmm. else but wait. And um I get that. Um this weekend's real stressful because it's my first like guaranteed um, we're starting the race and the, the Arca race at Pensacola because there's we missed the first two because there was more than 40 cars and that never happens. It hasn't happened in like 10 years and it just, we got unlucky, but Pensacola will not. It's going to have 18 to 22 cars. So I'll be racing and I'm just real stressed out about it because it's a big deal. And then we were, we're locked into Talladega as well on owner's points and Talladega is going to be almost 200 miles an hour for a hundred laps. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. Um, but also I'm mm. there. I'm just stressed out because you know, if, the, the, if you wreck and like almost die and wreck a bunch of people, you don't continue. <laughs> you're like, yeah, oh. you're, you're done. It's a lot of money, man. It's like if you wreck a car, um, it's like a hundred grand in your contracts you signed. It's brutal. Blue collar loser loser says, "Hey, bro, your respect for blue collar workers makes me love you. I don't care if it's GameStop or KFC. It's still a job. Retail is paying. I'll catch a replay. Thank you, blue collar, and uh, nice to see you again, my friend. I hope you're doing well." Um, Renee Galarza says, "Billy need to play Hell Divers. 
Everybody seems to love it. Um, I've watched people play it. Looks great, but uh, also I have too stressed to play things. Chaos. That's in chapter one of Azura's Wrath. Apparently, I'm stupid as hell. Yeah, I feel like it would be at I'm the out. end of the game, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's really uh, special. Games are like it, it like opens up with something fucking crazy, like right off the fucking bat to make sure you understand exactly what kind of game you're playing. Yeah, like God of War. Like in in the at the mm-hmm. very beginning of God of War, you're already a badass, and you're just like yeah. Ass. And then Zeus, and then it, it it strips you down. Yeah, like every game, it, like you start off like a fucking giga chat with everything you had from the previous <laughs> game, and it just it, it's like it's like okay, you're gonna you're gonna kill a fucking demigod, and then we're gonna take everything from you and just put you away at the bottom again. Yeah, they Which always I, uh, they send you to it, hell, and then you climb out every time. Yep. And I'm like, you it's know a what? cool cycle. It is. Uh, God of War one, two, and three are legendary, and I like uh, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. I played them on PSP when I was it was like June, and the store was dead, and I'm just playing fucking Ghost of Sparta and <laughs> Chains of Olympus like all day. Um, just because there's nothing else to do in this bullshit ass place. Um, it was bad though, dude. It got so bad. Back to GameStop for a moment. So I worked mm. there from 2007 to 2018, and in I, I shit you not, and a lot of oh, people you, you got right out right before I got in. Oh yeah, um, and it I apparently got way worse. But um, I was working there mm-hmm. in 2011, dude. It was like the greatest job, bro. It was so we would it was laid back. We could chill. We could help out people. We could actually sell a discount card because it's gonna you know, actually help the customer. There was actual benefits to things. It was a decent job. You could play some games if no one's in the store. DM didn't care. No one cared. It was just laid back. It felt like a working at a game store. And then I started, of course, that was the first year I went to the Vegas uh, um, manager conference, which was Mm -hmm. great. And I went to, I went every year all the way up to 2018. And they can't, and then uh, was it 2019 or 2020? They canceled it. And then it, I think they canceled it for like two years. They brought it back last year. I think. Which is so sad. They canceled it for two whole years. Can you imagine that's the only reason I was still there was because I get to go to Vegas. It was hilarious. Um, but yeah, um, it got real bad with the what did they call it? The circle of life. Uh God, what a terrible place. Mm-hmm. Circle of life. And uh my district manager was a pretty honest man. And then all of a sudden 2017 hit and he was implying to just add shit onto people's transactions without asking. And it got real rough for a while. Yeah. Um, if you missed a, a circle of life for two weeks, you were fired. It doesn't matter how long you've been there. My DM showed us from that a little bit, but there were so many store managers that were working for 10 years that got fired because they missed circle of life for two weeks over yeah. 10 years. And they, they missed circle of life for two weeks. It's freaking crazy as fuck place got terrible. Yeah. And of course I got the hell out. Um, they were going to fire me anyway. I felt it coming because mm-hmm. HR came to my, not HR, uh, LP came to my store and was asking me random questions about random, like DS, like, nintendo ds's and shit it was really weird and then he left and i was like hmm so i uh decided to take my vacation so i took two weeks and i've never taken two weeks i took two weeks straight my district manager was ultra ultra pissed about it and i was like don't give a fuck and i just slept for two weeks and i think i went to like gatlinburg and chilled in the snow and stuff and i got back and three days after i got back they the lp came to fire me for no reason by the way they they were they were going to terminate me um because I sat at my desk in the back room at 8:30 um in the morning before the store opened. There was nothing Hello? to do. <laughs> there was nothing to do. The store was alphabetized, all the stuff was fixed. And I would sit at the desk, I maybe I'd be on my phone, maybe I'd be working on schedules. It depends on what was going on. And they said sitting at the desk constitutes a break. So they they were going to fire me for it. So I just, but you're off the clock. Like you haven't started. <laughs> well, I mean, I it, you know, my store, well, my, my district manager yeah. said that if we cross the threshold of the door, we clock in no matter what. So I was like clocked uh, in and I was sitting at my desk at 830 and just waiting for the store to open and, you know, working on whatever I have to work on, work on at the time. So basically that what they were saying or implying was I should I have to stand behind the counter at 830 with the store closed and just stand there. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's I, insane. Um, and we used to be on salary back in the day, so that was not an issue. But then now they was able to try to get everybody for time card fit theft. And they fired, like, I think 80, 85, 90 percent of the district within three months for the same reason. They were just trying to fire anybody that had over 10 years to 10 years because I was making 42 grand a year at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know like back then, like you guys, you guys would get like a uh, like like merit raise. Like you actually get raises for yeah. longer. Yeah. And then after a while, yeah, they start fucking booting you. Uh, by the time I got in, I ironically. Right after you left, they got rid of that. So yeah. I was there for a while, and then right before like I passed my first year, they were like, "Actually, we got rid of that. So no more. You're gonna keep making the same amount of money that you made when you started yep. for two more years, actually, until you you know get moved to a different position. The only yep. time you're ever getting a raise." And I was like, "Wow, okay, well that's fucking blows." 
I got a two dollar raise for like three years straight at one point. Um, oh, and then I was the shrink manager, so I went to every single store in the district and I did uh, uh, ran the inventories because my district manager didn't want mm-hmm. to, I guess. So I just did it. I went to every store and I got uh, I got mileage pay. And there would be some weeks where I'd bring home like twenty two hundred dollars. It was crazy. It was awesome. And um, yeah, I think that's why they got rid of me. <laughs> so, yeah, that 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 checks out. And I remember my uh, district manager. I felt it coming because he, my district manager, was like. I really want to, sh- I want you to show a couple people how to do the district or how to do the inventories. And I was like, you want me to show people how to do, I know what you're fucking doing. You're trying to get, you're getting me out. And I was like, yeah, this is hilarious. Yeah. Anybody that was replaced. making, anybody making over 40 grand, they tried to be, they tried to get out of the stores immediate, immediately. Um, it's called legacy deletes. A corporate guy contacted me a few years ago and said that uh, GameStop has a program modern day called legacy delete where anybody over 10 years, they, um, will attempt to, if not terminate, um, because their tenure usually ha- have them at a really high pay rate. So they yeah, try to we, get we had, anybody out. So, uh, you know, I told you, like, I think it was before the stream, I told you there was, like, a, an old lady working at the mall I used to work at. Yeah. She'd been there for 30 years. God, could you imagine? Yeah, she was making, so when our district manager came in, she was making more than he was. Like, we got, like, <laughs> a new one in, and he was, like, he was really, really strict, right? All the previous district managers kind of let her do whatever she wanted, run the store, you know, her way. Yeah. And he came in, and he was just like, yeah, none of this is going to fly. And she was gone within like a couple months. Yep. Yep. That's what they do. That's what they do. Pro, uh, Professor Savage Dad says, at least in Phoenix, I don't think you had wrecked on the first lap like the woman they kept promoting. Hey, man, it's what, that's how it goes. Um, Nothing against anybody. Um, I wouldn't have wrecked the first lap. I, 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 I'm an old, I'm old, right? I'm an old man. Um, So I really use my head and I back off and I pick and choose and set people up. I don't go in there and throw a car into, because I'm paying, you know, it's it's me and my sponsors. Um, and if I wreck one car, it puts me, it sets me back. So I can't do that. I got to really be smart about what I'm doing. Professor Savage, Dad, I love you. Hmm. Wandering uh, Helmsman says, Hey, Rosa, y'all see they're doing remasters of Max Payne 1 and 2. I love those games so much, but Max Payne 3 sucked. I agree. I did not see they're doing remasters. I'm, I never played any of those. They're great. They're fantastic. They're really weird. They're, like the first one's really dark and strange. I love it. Um, it reminds me of like an old, old PC game, like those weird old PC games. Mm hmm. I hope like, that their remasters are decent. I'll, I'll try them when they come out. Maybe. Uh, you'll 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 probably dig the first two. I'd imagine. Um, Camelot become a GameStop VTuber. Bro. <laughs> bro, they would come after his ass so fast. You don't understand how desperately they want money. They'd be like, "Oh my god, oh my god, this is our chance! Lawsuit, lawsuit!" Yeah. Um. No, they uh, find it off. F- find a lawyer that we can afford. People get mad. <laughs> I'll have VTubers on like uh for the stream, and people will be like um, like unironically angry about it. I'm like. Thank you. So yeah, people would be mad. Thank you, by the way, Penguin, for all your support. MRT Fortune on Rumble says, um, "Use this for that tree fitted dollar ad spot on Facebook." I'm highly driven on there. I, I know. I get it. Thank you, MRT. Thank you so much. Um, Rankin Knot says, "Vegas is gonna be lit." Yeah, dude, it's gonna be so great. I'm excited. I'm gonna drink some whiskey. Um, very, very. What's up, Incoherent? How you doing, dude? Anyways, um, but yeah, GameStop's trash. Uh, <laughs> I did not enjoy it. Um. And uh, what, so you're, you said you came back after taking a vacation and worked for a week yep. and quit. Uh, I worked for like another month and like a half and then I quit. So how so, did you, how did you come about? Like, did you just say, fuck it, I'm out or did something, was there a catalyst? So, or? Okay. So this store that I got, right. Yeah. Uh, it was a top tier store, quote unquote, right. It had full stars, right. Cause they give you like a, like a star for meeting certain metrics on like uh GPG, uh, yeah. ERP. Uh, web and stores, etc. Like all these different metrics, and then for each one is a star. If you hit the goal, you get a star. This store had all the stars. The store was perfect. It was the best store in the world, right? Yeah. And my uh, my my district manager decided to give it to me, and he was like, "Okay, yeah, here." Because like he originally wanted me to go to uh, another store that had a lot more issues, because he knows that I'm pretty competent. Yeah. Um, but that store would have been like an hour and a half drive just to fucking get there. Uh, and that Good. is like with like normal traffic, not even like afternoon traffic. And he was like. Yeah, we don't want to have to pay you for the mileage. <laughs> so yeah. he put me at this other store. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, whatever. And so I, I took it over. And right away I had issues. Uh, the assistant manager was also running for the position, so she was pretty upset. Uh, the entire staff already didn't like me because I came in, immediately realized that they were doing a lot of things very, very wrong, uh, and started fixing things. And right off the bat, just had tons of issues. Um... Within the week, I realized that everything in the stock room was mislabeled. 
yeah. uh, or missing stuff. Like I had, like I'm telling you, I had, I had consoles in the back, right? From like trades. What we would do is that we would mark things that are dece- uh, defective with brown tape. Things that are in sellable condition with clear tape. Yeah. Right? Everything was brown tape. Bunch of things were missing labels. Some of the boxes were straight up missing things like the power cable or a controller or like all these like random things which is like these things are kind of necessary i can't sell this without this thing right and it's just like it's fine they just they just took it in like not defective no issues um and the whole back like back of the store was a mess uh had the uh the district manager i had talked to my previous manager and i was like hey can you come by help me like sort this he was like yeah sure i'll come by after my shift and i talked to the district manager because he, he had come by with the uh manager mentor and they were like, hey, how's it going? I was like, ah, it's, you know, it's all right. I'm just cleaning up, you know, and I'm just, I'm just sorting things out. There's discs inside of the cases on the walls. So, you oh know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just checking every single disc in the store by myself. Because we had no hours. Um, and, he's, and I, I mentioned to him, I was having my previous manager come by to help me out with the back room. He was like, like, why, why do you need help with the back room? And I was like, it's pretty bad. He was like, it's like, how bad? And I was like, ah, you can go look. And he goes to check and he's like, okay, we're going to be here for the rest of the day. So I have two, I have a district manager and a manager in the back of the, in the back of the store, right? My old manager rolls around, uh, and he's like, hey, like, I saw the DM's car is, like, a year, and it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you should have told me that they were helping you, I would have gone home, and I was like, ah, you know, whatever, you can come to that, say hi. DM's like, hey, come in here. He's like, it's that bad, it's that bad. Like, it was fucked. They, they spent two days back there cleaning that shit up. Right. Um, lucky, lucky me, uh, I have a fucking, uh, an LP audit. Within two months of being there, oh uh, <laughs> oh. I, I, yeah. So I, 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 the day I find out, I was actually planning to go out drinking with uh, my assistant manager and one of my key holders, along with some of my old managers, and get them to know some of my old staff and people that I worked with, right? Right. Uh, and um, that's where I, I told them that I was having, I was talking to my old manager. I told them I was like, oh, I have an LP audit. And immediately, my assistant manager and my 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 key holder both freaked out, and they were like, "Oh no!" The the two previous managers told us that if LP ever showed up, we were all fired. And I was like, "Well, lucky for you, I've been fixing shit. And <laughs> none of you are giving anybody discounts, and you know, in order to sell extra bullshit and attach crap." So, uh, managed to get a, get away with a write up. Right, this entire time, I I brought in uh, this other girl who was the girlfriend of someone that I had hired when I was working at the other store as an assistant manager. And I know she's competent, so I'm, I'm training her up, right? I have her work at the mall for like a, a month or two, and then I bring her back so that she's like ready. And I, I've, I've trained this girl up to replace my assistant manager because I know that she's leaving. I know that she's leaving, right? right. She puts in her two weeks, like a few days before my fucking vacay. No, like a week before my vacay, something like that. And I'm like, well, okay, fine, whatever. When I come back from vacay, I'll just promote the other girl that I trained up. I was ready for this. It's fine, right? So I have my vacay. I just kind of, you know, I leave everything to the wind, right? I'm in Colorado for a week, right? I am, I am vibing while my best friend smokes weed. Uh, and I get back home, and now we have an assistant manager freeze, so I'm not allowed to have an assistant manager. Shocking. So now I am basically running the store, right? I'm, I'm there five days a week, right? I'm working like 44 hours. And the days that I'm off, nobody can do anything important on the computer. No one. So if I didn't get it done by myself while also running the rest of the store, then it just wasn't getting done. And so oftentimes I'd I'd have to like like I'd like I'd be getting constant calls like, hey, we have this issue, but we can't fix it because it needs like manager assistant manager access. And it's just like, cool, I love working from home on my days off. <laughs> and it was just constant. And I was just like, dude, fuck this. And like I feel like that like vacation made me realize how much I hated my fucking job. Yeah. Like, because, like, I feel like there's, there's a point where, like, you get into, like, a groove, right? And you're like, oh, this is great. I fucking love this. Right? Like, I don't mind this stress. This is healthy stress. I'm, 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 you know, I'm motivated. I'm waking up on time. I'm doing everything. You have, like, a, like, a rhythm. And then the second you break that rhythm, you realize how much that rhythm fucking sucks. You're like, dude, I can't do this anymore. So I, I, I quit GameStop. And I also quit the, the VTubing company. I was there at the same time because I was having issues with them. I quit fucking everything. I was, I, I was like, fuck out, fuck all this shit. Right, yeah. like I, I still live with my mom. I can, I can, I can absolutely tank this. It's cool. I have enough in savings for like a good like, maybe a year. Right, fuck this. I'm done, and I just, I'm out. Yeah. So, the thing is, 
that I think that well I, now granted I feel like mine was more I took my two week vacation right and then I dipped out but I knew it was coming for a long time and I think that the the catalyst to make me pretty much over everything was the fact that when I was on vacation I was constantly worried I was like still constantly mm-hmm. thinking about the store and constantly worried about yep. everything so yeah um and then I left and I've never felt better uh since i mean i've never felt that again even when i worked at uh, walmart it was a little bit more lax because i worked from home 99 percent of the time and um and then of course the youtube thing there was a uh, hassan piker made a statement the other day that streaming is harder than any nine to five uh, or, <laughs> he said like uh, mentally or i don't remember like socially whatever the fuck and I... bro i have <laughs> I have never felt what I felt working at GameStop and Walmart, even an inkling yep. of that in like in this capacity. I adore it. I get I'll, I'll I get off the stream. I go like lay on the couch. I watch a few episodes of a show. Yeah. I'll, it's I'll nice. You just kind of vibe. It's it's awesome. It's the fucking greatest thing on earth. And I'm so damn thankful that I'm able to do it. And it's because of these freaking people in the chat. And their mm-hmm. super chats and their memberships and all the love they show me every day, every time we're live. Two hundred eighty-three yeah. naked snakes in a row for over almost three years now. Thank you guys so much. We're two or one hundred ninety away from naked snake one eight or two eighty-four. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'll never understand that. Yeah, oh, I remember. I remember that conversation time. happening, and I, I kind of pushed it on Twitter because I, I, I do have some thoughts on like, I, I don't think streaming is hard. Streaming is the easiest fucking job in the world. I sit on my yeah. computer. And I fucking talk to chat. I talk to yeah. like, and I don't even have to actually talk to people I can see. So you don't have like that like pressure of like, oh my god, like I'm on stage. <gasps> like, you have yeah. none of that, right? Because it's yeah. just like, like you understand that they're people, obviously, but like they're they're just text, right? Yeah. So like, it's all the pressure's kind of gone, and it's the easiest fucking job in the world. But I can understand how it can be stressful if it's your fucking job, and yeah. like if you're not at the point where like you're making like, it's like okay, every month I make guaranteed enough to live off of. It can be fucking stressful just because it's your job, right? I, I I think like like looking back, right? Like I don't think I don't think work is all that stressful. I think what stresses me out is that if I don't if I if I fuck up, I can't pay bills. I think that's what stresses me out about work. Yeah. Like I look back and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't I didn't really mind like dealing with all the stupid bullshit in GameStop. And like looking back at it, some of it was fucking funny. Right? Like some of it was stupid and fucking funny. But um yeah. But yeah, and it's just like, like, like looking back, it's just like, yeah, like I, I, I didn't find the actual work stressful. What I found stressful was just the fact that like, I knew that my, my income was dependent on this fucking retarded company, like not blowing itself up. Yeah. And that's fucking stressful, you know? Yeah. So I will, I, I feel like I feel the way. Also, about... Gail, Gail, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I, feel... I, I hang out with people from my chat and my discord, like all the fucking time, like every other night. Yeah. Like fuck off! You, you know you're not just fucking texting me, cunt. You are. You are. <laughs> so, um, no, I um, I feel that way about YouTube. The the one stress factor about content creation, the only, only stress factor, and th- I think everything rolls into this. I mean, whether you're not getting enough views or mm-hmm. subs or whatever the hell have you, super chats, whatever, um, it all culminates into one feeling, and that's the the one thing about YouTube. And I've broke this because I've been I've I've I treat it like what I do, and. Mm-hmm the one stress factor is the fact that it is up to you. And if for some reason yep. you don't uphold like what you do, like you get up out of bed and you just do it, uh, you'll, the, there is nothing to fall back on. You just lose everything. <laughs> so yep. yeah, there is no unemployment, bro. You just fucked. So yeah, I get that. Um, that's the only thing there. And I've kind of put that to bed. Um, I haven't worried about that in years now because I know I'm going to be here. I know I'm going to do what I need to do. Um, yeah. So. That doesn't bother me at all. Absolutely not at all. Um, I had a question. Where to go? Squall Shade says no. No, does Rosa not have a uh, rule thirty four? Uh, dude. So fun fact. Uh, look up Jade dies a lot. You're gonna find there's exactly one or two images of her on there. That's my old voice acting OC. Uh, which only has literally like like two pieces of fucking porn. There is so much porn of Rosa, and nobody has uploaded it to R thirty four. I don't know. Wait, why. why is there so much porn? Because people commission it. Sometimes I commission it. it Sometimes you commission it. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, I, the stuff that I commission is typically uh, like more on the like, you know, like the like, like a uh, like, like respectful nudity kind of side, you know? Yeah. I like my, my, my artistic nudity. 
Um, actually, the profile picture I have on 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 a uh, on Twitter, the full version of that, uh, yeah. it's they're both naked. It's great. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, like, I posted a picture of me. Uh, I was in Vegas, and I just I thought I looked really nice in the mirror, so I just posted. I I, I took a picture of my butt ass naked ass. And I, I put it on my locals, and I put like a little black penis emoji over my penis. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, that's that's my most nudist nude out there, I think. Sin says, "Oh my god, is that Rosa Kotal of X Haven and Lucid Fame?" No, step. Oh my god. Thank you, Sin. I appreciate you so much. One 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 seventy two until naked snake. Thank you. No step on snack, indeed. Do not step on snack. I have no. a. I have a. I have. I have merch. Uh, where it's it's the Gadsden flag, yeah. but instead of like the normal Gadsden flag, it's like a rosified snake, and it yeah. says "No Step on Snake." It's great. Um, what was that? No walk on worm is the. Uh, I like that. No walk. Sounds pretty good. Worm. Yeah, Sounds I, pretty I was good. I was in my car one day and I was driving like four hours, and I for some reason for an hour I was trying to come up with different versions of "No Step," like "Don't Step" or "Don't Tread on Me," "No Step yeah. on Snake," uh, uh, "No Walk on Worm." Um, fuck, there was another one too. I can't remember. Um, don't wheel on ill. Thank you, San. I appreciate you. Love you, San. Thank you for your orange boy. Appreciate you. You're the goat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, what do you? What is your? Uh, what is your plans and goals for the future? What do you want to do with this content creation thing? Like, what would you like and, to see happen? Like, what is your your overall dream? If you could like put yourself in a dream scenario, dude. If I could keep it real, real simple, right? If if I if I had to put like an ideal, right? So we're, I'm I'm not talking economics here. I'm just talking like what I want, right? Yeah. I want to just fucking vibe and just play some fucking games and hang out with cool people in chat. Like, that's that's it. And just be able to do that and, like, just not have to worry about anything else. Like, that's my goal. Like, that is my overarching goal. So, but but get paid to do so so you can do that. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't I have to get paid, honestly. Like, just just find find someone who will just house me. I'll, 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 I'll just... <laughs> like, I'll, I'll just be a fucking little like like streamer slave in the basement, just like hey, hey chat. <laughs> just just live in my basement, and you can stream. No, um, yeah, that's kind of how I am. I just want to, I want just want to exist and not to worry about stuff. And that's kind of how it, mm. it's been for the last couple of years. Um, so that's what I like. Thank God for that. Thank God for all these goofy ass people uh, in my chat. They're so damn good to me. Like Mar yeah. like Marion Haltzman, uh, the 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 lone red boy on Rumble. No red boys on YouTube though. But Rumble be killing it every damn stream. I think there was twelve Red Boys last stream on Rumble or the stream before. Oh that. damn, chat over there. Dave, uh, my my chat is. Uh, I'm good at oil barons. I mm. don't know why they're so good Delicious. at me. Crazy. They're just wild. They're beautiful people, and I don't deserve them. Uh, man who fish in other man's hole often catch crab. Thank you, Tiki. I appreciate you. Billy says, "How much to make a snake? Oh, one seven two. Thank you. I appreciate you. What's naked snake? You'll see if if we make it. You'll see. Oh. I'm not going to tell you until it happens. Uh, Incoherent Turd says, Cody, what's the deadline for us to send Red Boys for Talladega? If that's passed, what's the next? Uh, um, well, if it, if it is Talladega, um, it's still a go. I mean, the deadline will be like the first week of April, but I likely will have to put it on the Kansas car because, and which is immediately after Talladega, like three weeks after Talladega. It's just Talladega has an, a complete dedicated wrap, um, which is, let me pull it up. I'll pull up the wrap for Talladega real quick. Um, if you want to uh, see every single update across the sun, um, follow my Facebook, um, which no one follows because I've never promoted it ever until just now. Uh, here it is in the chat. I post every single update to racing, and I will post. I will show you right now. This right here is the. Um, oh, let me let me just. I'll just pull up a screenshot because fucking I'm on the manager mode on Facebook and it has all my information because Facebook's stupid. Oh, let's see. I mean, everybody already knows, but still, I would rather not. They put my dumbass picture on Racing Reference. It's so stupid. I can't believe they did it. Um, there's a website <laughs> for like motorsports results, and it has a picture of me, and it's there's like a stain on my shirt because it was residue from a previous logo I had ripped off, and it's just in the picture. And I'm like, you couldn't Photoshop that just a little bit. That's so funny. Um, here it is. So this is the car we're running at Talladega, or the Cyber Frog car. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be beautiful. Nice um, car. Yeah, yeah. This is what it's gonna look like, and um, it's gonna have the big ass fat M or Arca engine in it. Um, so we're gonna be top notch. We're gonna be in the crowd. It's gonna be a fast car. Um, it's gonna be awesome. So make sure you're checking that out. Um, make sure you're there for that. Uh, if you're going, I know a lot of you are going to Talladega. Let me know. 
let me know. Now, I do have to say the garage will be packed. I cannot get any more um, badges for people like that that will be involved in the car um, that are on the team. Like it's 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 like five people that I have to give them to. Um, so, but you can get an infield pass for the Saturday. Get the Saturday infield pass to Talladega. Um, it's fifty five dollars, I think, and you you'll you can, you have access to the garage. You can come see me. So we'll be sitting there, and you'll just look for this car, and I'll be standing beside it probably. So get on it, dog on it. There it is. Stop presenting. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I read that super chat already. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. And uh, I had another point I wanted to make, and then I completely forgot what hmm. I was talking about again. Fuck, why does this always happen? Uh, fuck, what topic are we on? It's your fault. It's it your fault. fault. I, I'm just so distracting. Look at my tail. It just, you know, it, it hypnotizes you. It is. Go- why, wait, how does that work anatomically? Like, <laughs> is your back not against the chair at all? It's just flooping like, left and right. No, no. I, I just sit up, like, on the edge of the, above the chair so I make, my feet can touch the ground, you know? Oh, uh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um... Okay. Uh, bu- 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 thank you guys for following my page. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, have you ever been to a? Have you ever been to a NASCAR race hmm. before? I've not. I, oh, it's fun. Well, it, I guess it's fun if I'm I, in it. I've been to a horse race, but not a NASCAR. Race. Same thing, basically. It's just the horse. <laughs> yes. Instead of twenty or instead of thirty nine miles an hour, they go two hundred. Yeah. So, um, Derek Nell or Derek Nall says, "Did Tim Cast end up buying ad space? Yeah, Tim Tim Cast um will be. The spon- will be my car sponsor f- for the whole year um, with Tim Pool, and I think Public Square will probably be on there as well. And then we have one more company that might be getting on. Um, so we'll see. It's 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 all being finalized right now. So you'll know in like a week or two what the car might be looking like because they're designing it right now. So, um, but that'll get us to the rest of the year. Thank God. Um, so that's going to be very very exciting. All right, cool. So you're going to play Bloodborne Wednesday. Uh, I think so. I need to check my fucking schedule, but I think it's Wednesday. It's it's one of the days this week. Okay, I can probably pull it up. Uh, oh, God, I will watch the hell out of that. Now I do whatever, have a show. Whatever day the twentieth is. That's Wednesday. That's, yeah. that's Wednesday. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I uh, I stream on Wednesday, but I'll I'll definitely watch it regardless because I am in love with Bloodborne, and I want to play it again, it's such but a I good can't. Game. It's so, such a good game. I I just, want I want. I want the fucking the fucking PC port so bad, but it's not gonna happen. Oh my god! Still sells PlayStations. Mudahar every year. Mudahar on April first uh, tweets out that there's a sixty a sixty <laughs> frame four K version of Bloodborne coming to PC on April first every year as a fucking. And it troll. catches it catches people every time. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Red says, "Has the topic of feet came up?" Nope. Uh, I saw a picture. Somebody posted it in my locals of her feet. Wait, which one? I don't know. It's just uh, your feet. Uh, I've got some little black ankle socks, but they look like ninja socks. Oh. Or you can see oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably, that's probably a screen cap from the fucking stream. Then, uh, yeah, out there yeah. on Twitter is a picture of my feet wearing fucking Lifesavers gummies. on Like, as toe rings. It's on there. On Twitter. Rings. God, these dudes yeah. are degenerates. Let me look. I'm going to find it. <laughs> Why is everybody degenerates? Um, do you have any plans on doing a... Uh, a uh, VTuber based OnlyFans? Uh, no. I <laughs> So I have a fan sleeve just for the sole purpose of whenever V's game comes out, I can fucking play it. Uh, that's it. That's the only reason it exists. It's so that I, like, I, I, V told me he was making a game and I was like, I want to play it. And he's like, it's a porn game. And I was like, fuck. Okay, I have a solution. So I made a fucking fan sleeve just so better. I can stream V's porn game. It's even better. Um, porn games are even better than normal games. But, uh, but, uh, I. I've had a few people in chat try to convince me to post pictures of my feet on the fans link. And I don't know how I feel about that. You might get people, uh, you might make money. Maybe. What if you I, I, I've, yet, I've yet to be convinced. Those. I would be severely embarrassed. I would no. have to execute myself before I have children. No, if you had a, I mean, <laughs> I'm, oh, I, I have to explain to my children I have a Ferrari because of my feet. I would do that every day of the week. <laughs> put it okay. You, you know, could do, you could put it on, in to, to be fair. To be fair, it's feet, not porn. So, you know, I guess it's that's fine. true. That is true. You could put your uh, your toes, you could put your toes in some cheesecake, and then the next day you put some toes in salted caramel ice cream, and then the next day you put your toes in some sand. There's endless, hungry. there's endless things you could do. You're just making me hungry. <laughs> you, could put them in, you could put them in a bowl of tarantulas. Okay, see, I have to, I have to find tarantulas. I, I, I don't mind spiders. Uh, you can buy them. I, I you can buy. 
you can buy dead tarantulas for like fifty dollars on Amazon. Only like freeze dried. They will send you freeze dried tarantulas. That's kind of cool. So you can put your feet on them. I would. Buy, I might buy that. Chat. I hope somebody's ran this down. <laughs> I might buy the fansly if the feet's on them. I'm not into feet, but I'm trying to support fellow creators and their goals in life. You know. Okay. Okay. I I'm, I'm so far. I'm so far being slightly convinced. I want my friends to be successful and wealthy. That's that's appreciated. I, I wasn't fun. So fun fact: uh, I wasn't always in defeat, and then fucking chat groomed me into it. That's what they do. They're fucking wild, man. They're wild, and then they imagine that you're twelve. But you're pretty open about your age, I think. Yeah. Roughly. Uh, so they, I'm, they I'm, I'm I'm really open about it. I'm twenty three. Yeah. So that's the thing, man. Is any identifiers, and this is what I learned in the VTube culture. Mm-hmm. Any identifiers in like for a lot of these corpos is like a no no. And it's because yeah. now look, I know this is like this isn't written down anywhere, but this is the reason why. Uh it's because the parasocial relationship that these viewers have with a lot of these creators is they are they're they the the illusion is that they're like a 12 year old girl. That's the illusion. And I remember reading a thread and it was, dude, it was like during the time of like the fucking fallout with me and Pippa. And I was reading like a yab thread because they, they called them yabs. And <laughs> dude, there was like a, they were like, yeah, fuck Pippa. I'm done with Pippa because she fucked Camelot. And I'm like, what the fuck? No, when she was on a stream with me. I didn't fuck her. What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, um, chat, chat, you, you can't see it. You can't see it. But like underneath Camelot's chair, I'm pegging him right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's happening right now. That's why my voice increases every now and then. Uh, <laughs> but no, um, no, I, there was like this guy, and there was a lot of people that were kind of alluding to this. But this guy was like, "Fuck Pippa!" Like I'm like watching this random person now, and then people start talking about this random person, and like some guy, like they were, they like tracked down her social media or something or some con. So it was like some conversation with her and a friend, and they were able to deduce how old her mother might have been. And her mother might have been 30 or 28, which means she might be 12 or 13. And like people were freaking the fuck out in the thread. They're like, God, the fact that she's actually 13 makes my dick so fucking hard. And what I'm like, the fuck? and I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? Jesus. And I know somebody in chat said, oh, are you so, do you think all fans are like that? Yeah, I get it. I know not everybody's like that, but there's a large portion of them. And I'm not saying majority. I'm saying there's a yeah, large uh- portion of people and they're the loudest and the craziest that will get you swatted. That's the yeah, point. for 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 a lot of like YouTube communities, I've noticed that like a lot of it just comes down to catering to like this like this like either the girlfriend experience or the like waifu experience or whatever. And like, dude, right off the bat, I was like, yeah, I, I can't do any of this. Yeah. I, I remember I someone flirted with me exactly one time, and I tweeted out that I was a lesbian, and my entire like ma- like my entire management oh, team freaked out. That's that like, oh my yeah, god, Rosa, how could you? That's it, your career's over. And then I proceeded to be like like the top talent for their company yeah that's almost a goof that's almost a goof right yeah it's almost a goof right but it's just like dude you'd be surprised some people are like oh what's this tomboy girl i can just vibe with and hang out with okay i don't have to think about dumping loads in her every second that's crazy to be fair it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is like if you're like attractive like my man brain look i have really high testosterone my man brain doesn't care i will i'm thinking about (laughs) i'm thinking about it right now that's all I can't. It's, I can't stop thinking about it. It's like wow. Solid. It's just what. I, <laughs> stop saying solid when I'm talking about this shit. <laughs> it provides GFE for female solid. fans. Nah, my no. my zero point two percent female fans. Zero point two percent. That's me, man. <laughs> uh, I, no, I think I'm up to like seventeen percent female now. I was at like t- two for like a long time. Then it was like seven, nine, eleven, twelve. So yeah. Um, uh, X Moon says, I got a 3 a.m. $500 unpaid pizza order from Zoom Goblin in a Discord server. I was in for posting too many videos. Dude, I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple years ago, I would get that shit every single time I was live. There were just cars pulling up in my driveway every five minutes. <laughs> cash on delivery pizza. <laughs> and I'm like, can you put me on a damn no call list? Because they're, they're, it's people trying to, they're getting me, they're trying to send food. And then when that, when that got boring, they started getting me swatted. And that's when it got real bad. Um, but luckily, uh, my city isn't about that life, so they don't. They can't yeah. bust in your house. It's illegal. I, yeah, I, I look. I, I, I've told people it's like th- there's enough information about me that I've said out there. You could easily, if you really, really wanted to, you can easily fucking dox me, find out who I am. I don't really care. I live in Florida. <laughs> like, do you understand oh, what that means? 
Yeah, I like, guess you're, you're not going to show up at my house, right? Like, it's just not going to happen unless you want to become fucking soil. Yeah. So that's the thing is that's one good thing about Alabama, right? Um, you know, I have a couple 12 gauges, a couple AR 15s. And if somebody crosses the threshold of my house, I can turn them into spaghetti juice. And yep. I don't even have to fill out a police report. Yep. Yeah. I live in Alabama. Like, and, that, and yep. hence why breaking and entering is not a thing in my city I live in. <laughs> it's just not a yep. thing because everybody will turn you into cheese. That's just what happens. Um, but of course, when you live in like a sanctuary city, like somewhere in New York, um, that these break-ins are so common that you just basically they the 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 uh, politicians in place will say to just leave your doors unlocked, just so they because that's they're 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 there for your stuff, not for your life. And I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? Yeah, it's absolutely fucking wild. Absolutely. Dude, I, when I found out you could just fucking like like you could just steal shit, you you just can. You're just allowed to. It's fully allowed to steal shit in fucking Cali. I was like, what? Yeah. What? Start killing shit now. That's what I'm gonna do from I'm, now on. I'm gonna move to Cali. Yeah, if you just move to California, get your your uh claim homeless status, so you get a thousand dollars in um IB whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, yeah, universal like, EBI, move. UBI. And yeah, then like just just, just 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 move to Cali and become a legal thief. Yeah. It's, it's 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 a new fucking job. Yeah, or I remember uh cryo genocide when that fucking piece of shit what is his name what is that name seth rogan i used to love seth rogan when i was growing up and now he just sucks um seth rogan said that if you live in la you need to expect to get your car uh, your car broken to at least a dozen times and it's a price we pay to live in such a beautiful city and i'm like it doesn't happen to you you live on the hill with fucking armed guards you bastard <laughs> kill yourself thank you Cairo. matt Amos! the potential for violence None of this has made Rosa sound less cool. <laughs> Could you imagine, though, like a drunk little tiny 90-pound girl blowing you in half? That would suck. That would be yeah. the ultimate thing, like the ultimate betrayal of like your masculinity. Just blowing you. The the great equalizer. You see yeah. her like, in the window. You're like, dude, I could fucking destroy that chick. And then you like break, break through the door, and then she's just holding your gun. It's like dude, twice the size of her. Dude, oh, I, I wouldn't use a gun. I own a mace. Not mace as in the spray. I mean a fucking mace. A mace. <laughs> Someone sent me, uh, dude, fucking absolute Chad. Uh, I think I remember where this fucking user is, like Sorty Smith, something like that, uh, on on Twitter. Absolute fucking giga Chad. Uh, man's. So he was like, he was showing uh, on Twitter some like stuff he was making for like another VTuber, and also stuff that he's like made in the past. And among it was this like German mace, and I was like, that's fucking, that's a wicked looking mace. And he was like, do you want it? And I was like. Okay. Yes. Oh, you sent me a fucking mace. I own a mace. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. No. Um, I have a I have a twelve gauge under my guest bedroom bed and my bed in my master bedroom, yeah. and it's because yeah. I have like these windows that are on my ceiling in my master bedroom, and I mm -hmm. wake up at eight a.m. and my face is like melting off from the sun, so I get up and I go to my guest room every day until noon. I sleep from five a.m. till noon, and um, it's just my weird sleep schedule, and I have a shotgun under there. So, but they mm. both have just slugs, just fucking slug rounds in them. Just blow a hole in you like this big. It's crazy. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you don't break, you do not break, uh, breaking my house. It's, it, you know, it's just one of those things. When I was a kid, um, that happened. I, I lived in a trailer park, right? And mm -hmm. um, some crazy dude that was just fucking creep, freaking the fuck out um, was like beating on my like trailer door. And, like my dad was like standing there yelling at him. And he was just beating on the door, beating on the door, beating on the door. And uh, my dad's just like, if you come in this house, I'll blow you in half. And the dude just kept beating on the door, called the police. They were like, if he breaks in, shoot him. This is like in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> but just my dad just blew him in half. And then, yeah, uh, then, then the, they left. And then the police came and the Lambert's came and then they left. And that was it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't that's, do that. That's the way it fucking should be. Dude, I got, I remember I was, uh, this is like my first year at GameStop. Uh, we, had, we had pretty like significant robbery. Uh, where basically this dude came in, he hung out in the store with this kid for like two hours, said he just wanted to buy an Xbox. Right? Yeah. And when it came down to pay, he decided he didn't want to pay for it, so he just came around the corner, tackled my, my assistant manager, right? Uh, punched him in the face, grabbed the Xbox, and ran out. Left his kid in the store. What uh, the this kid, like, yeah, this kid, like, ran out after him. Some crazy fucking Cuban guy, like, high on some something. Like, man was coked the fuck out. Uh, and I remember, like, the cop showed up, right? And we were all just like, oh, he was like, oh, like, what happened? And we was like, oh, yeah, this guy, you know, he came in, he, like, you know, he tackled and these whole things. He's like, why didn't you shoot him? It's like, what? It's like, yeah. What? You guys want to carry a shotgun underneath the counter? It's like, no. 
And the cop, straight up, this is the fucking cop. Right? This is a cop. A cop told us, buy a shotgun, put it under the counter, next time you shoot him first, and then you call us. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that, because, you know, it's like a company, right? And, like, they'll they fire have, your like, ass, yeah. Yeah, they'll fire your ass, but... But, I, uh, but I, that's just the way it is down here. Like that's that's what you're like. You're not gonna rob like a Cuban restaurant, like like a family-owned Cuban restaurant. They're gonna fucking shoot you. You're yeah. gonna die. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I uh, when I was working at GameStop until I think I was 25, I carried a, a nine millimeter conceal on me because I got robbed all the time back in the day, and I was tired of getting robbed. So I just started carrying a a, a conceal nine in my waistband, and I carried it for I think six or seven years. And um, never really had an issue. So, but yeah, because I'm the I'm the kind of person I'm like I'll just get fired. I'm not gonna die. Like I don't care. I'll, I'll yeah. get fired. Um, never really thought about it. So, but yeah, I carried one for years. And you're not supposed to because GameStop, and it's not just GameStop. This is every corporate company is gonna have the same policy. But GameStop, in general, speaking of GameStop, is they would rather you die than you kill someone and them have to deal with a lawsuit. Now, granted, they're probably yeah. going to still deal with a payout. They'll probably, they probably won't even deal with a lawsuit. They'll probably just pay out to your family willingly, but they would rather you die and they pay out and they get the good PR for paying out to your family. than you killing somebody that came into the store and like fucking started like assaulting people. Cause they're in, because yeah. they're going to fire you for it. Cause they don't, they would rather you die. And that's every corporation. Every corporation has the exact same, exact same policy. They would rather you die than anything else. It's wild. It's gross. It's really, really gross. And I'm so glad I'm not involved in that shit anymore because, God, I hated it. Um, and speaking of hating it. Wait, no, hold on. Why are we still here? I forgot <laughs> to change it. Just to suffer. Oh, yes. Every night. Oh, it's been so long since I've heard this. Oh, what? Uh, what? Is that it? Oh, no, it's that long. Well, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't get the full version. It's fine. Thank you, Wandering Helms man. It says throwing a red boy at you because y'all are just so damn awesome. Got another one. Yo. You, Rosa. Oh my God. Hey, yo. He's got a red one for you, bro. Good luck on your upcoming races. It's kind of scary. He's a. I, I, I know Helms man. He's, he's, he's a fucking Fox VTuber. A red one can mean many things. Helms. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, uh, but that's what I was. That's what the joke. Oh, look, I put it in all caps. Hold on. So, um, for dropping a $100 super chat, I will be putting you on my NASCAR race car. Uh, tentatively, unless I get approval, will be for Kansas in that race. I think it's maybe fourth. May the fourth be with you. Um, we will be racing at Kansas in the uh, the the main Arkham Menard series. It's gonna be a really fun race, 170 miles an hour into turn one, just kicking ass. So thank you, Warren Helmsman. You're on the car, and I really do appreciate you. And that gets us closer to Naked Snake than we've been. We're like at 70 away from Naked Snake for the 284th stream in a row, 16 from 300. <laughs> Thank you so I'm, much. I'm 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 so curious what Naked Snake is. I have no Naked clue. Snake. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wandering Hells, man. I really appreciate that. That's a big ass drop. I don't deserve it, but I'm so thankful for your love. Thank you. Support. Thank you. Mm. Um, all right. Anyways, uh, but yeah, no. Corporations are dumb. Politics are dumb. Uh VTuber corporate corpos are dumb. If you were asked again to join a big one that will let and they were like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna give you a 50-50 split and you're going to we're gonna promote you to and make you the biggest VTuber in the world, would you do it? No. Good. That's what I like to hear. You can't be yeah. bought. No. Can't I like <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. I, I just like as much as I, I love the idea of like, oh, I could just do this, right? If I can't make the content I want to make, it's just not worth it. I agree with you. Like I'm not I, really I, I, I would rather be buried. Like, if um, I have to, like, it's like, oh, you're going to be the most famous people in the world. You can do the streaming thing you want to do. You can hang out with chat. But you can't talk about this. You can't yep. do that. Yep. Yada, yada, yada. Leash is here. Leash is there. It's like, motherfucker, just kill me. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to do this. I had the same exact thought. I had a conversation, like, a year ago. And uh, I was, uh, like, I'm like, if Rumble, Rumble, like, the platform, if they offered me $2 million, but I had to exclusively stream only on Rumble for the next two years, I would say no. I would just because it's not where I, I, I enjoy my my people on YouTube. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to make two million dollars, obviously, but I just enjoy the vibe on YouTube and it's it's fun yeah. and I can be myself. And that, there's nothing holding me back. I'm not limited to any speech or anything because I don't say anything too crazy. Um, and I just have a good time I on YouTube. Crazy shit. <laughs> but I would do I would do both. I would do YouTube and then I would switch to Rumble for like an hour or something. Do a Rumble flip for like a payday. But I'm not going to I'm not going to abandon YouTube because that's suicide. Because once you come back, it's going to yeah. be bad. So, yep. no, thank you, Rene Galarza. Let's go with a twenty. 
Stop. We're closing in. We're 50 away. Hustle. 50 away. Oh, yeah. Nerd <laughs> my, my boy Gary hit 1 million subs today. Nerd Rodic. Give him some love. Oh, damn. Good Hell man. yeah. Big congrats. Hell, my boy FNT. Uh, we'll be at the FNT meetup with Gary in like a month or well, in two weeks. So make sure if you're going to that, you let me know. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate you so much for all your love, all your support. Mm. Um, <clears throat> all right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to talk to we're gonna We're going to answer some questions from chat. Um, what if they promise to make you the biggest feet tuber in the world? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, okay, hold on, hold on. I have certain contingents. I can do what the fuck I want. If I'm going to do what the fuck I want, that's fine. I'll sign. I'll, I'll take a 50-50. But I have to be, like, I have to have full creative freedom. And, like, like, you also cannot be a California company because you legally can't do that. Yeah. You legally cannot actually provide that. Right. Um, oh, fuck, I had a question. Man, this is the, I'm, my brain is like melting today. Oh, would you ever, uh, would you ever flesh tube? Flesh, flesh tube? tube? Flesh stream? What does that mean? Would you ever, would you ever flesh mean? stream where it's just you and not a TV tuber? Well, uh, I, I've had streams like I have like my hands on camera and stuff like that, right? Like I have, I've done like cooking streams, right? But like okay. my face and like me in front of the camera, fuck no. Okay, now this is a fun, this is a fun like topic of conversation that I ask all YouTube people. Um, what is the reason that you don't? I like playing characters. That's why I started doing this like in the first place, right? So, like it's like so. It's th anything this is like an extension from like voice acting to me. Yeah. So for example, like right now I'm playing Rosa, but I I have some like I have a I actually have a changeling model in the works called Ginny. And the whole thing with that is I'm going to have like different models I can swap between. I have my, uh, I mentioned Jade before, like my old voice acting OC, I'm bringing her back. Uh, and so I want, I want to be able to just play different characters, do different voices and have fun with it. without having to worry about people seeing my face because that shit makes me like uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm also just generally not a photogenic person. So I just don't like being on camera. Like I don't like taking pictures. Okay, 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 okay. So you, you it makes you uncomfortable being on camera is what you're saying. Yeah. Roughly. Okay, good. Like, that's a good. It. That's a good example. Or that's a good reason. That and like you know, I I want people to wonder forever rather than have confirmation of whether or not Sargon is right and whether or not all VTubers are secretly men. You know, like if 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 they found if they were to find out for certain, then you know the the illusion is ruined. For if you're, if, I mean, if you're ninety pounds, you're not a man unless you're like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no um, my my theory, my theory, and I've met like two VTubers like in real life. Um, and they're both at, like, out of average like appearance. This is my theory, and this is probably a lot of people's theory because I'm, you know, it's, I'm I'm pretty basic and average. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like most VTubers are either unattractive or very average. You, like, in, like in the looks department, do you think that's the thing? I've seen a lot of VTubers that are extremely fucking attractive. I think I think a lot of VTubers e either that. Or they're just incredibly like they have like no self esteem, which I think I think considering the habits of some of these VTubers and the things they end up doing and the things they end up getting caught for and the things they end up fucking up with and just the general stupidity that goes on in the VTubing community, I think is more likely the case. I think a lot of people just have really fucking shit self esteem. That's probably true. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I, I've seen a few. I've seen a few, and they were they're all right. And the lofty, he just looks like a goofy ass little like effeminate dude. <laughs> um, but uh. I mean, Cottontail's she's thick. She's like thick, but like not in a bad way. She's not like like overweight looking. She's just like thick. She's got a big old ass, and I think that's nice. But I don't think I've ever. I don't think she's ever shown her face. But she has a good body. Patrick Todd, what's your favorite whiskey for under a hundred dollars? Uh, Woodford Reserve, easily, easily. Thank you, Patrick. For another, the Orange Boys are starting to pop off. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, we got one Red Boy on YouTube today. We got one Red Boy on Rumble. We got a bunch of orange boys. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much, Patrick. Yes, Woodford is easily the best whiskey uh, for. I think you can get it for forty nine for like a fucking handle. It's great. It's great, great whiskey. And that obviously you have to go to ABC to get that price. If you go anywhere else, it can be like ninety. Thank you, Patrick Todd. Rene Galarza with another orange boy, just throwing it on my face. Thank you so much. Like I'm a stripper. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. I love you and I appreciate you. Mm. Um, Sean, time to get naked thank you so much sean that officially uh within the reason of a dollar uh gets us to naked snake for the 284th time in a row at the same Solid. time um prestige says which word word first since there's four of them or five of them uh, uh the normal one the standard woodford reserve 
Um, thank you, Sean. I appreciate you so much, my friend, for your gold boy. So much love tonight. I'm so hungry because I'm on my diet again, and it's fucking killing me. My stomach's, I can hear it. It's like, I'm like, because <laughs> I, I work out for two hours a day. Now I do, okay. I do high intense cardio for 20 minutes, and I'm just like, like, oh god. And I, I ate a, six ounces of grilled chicken and a quarter cup cooked rice, and I'm like, I'm just fucking fucking dying. Uh, yes, uh, how much to fight milk? Uh, pff, like four ninety nine something. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, I'll probably raid you tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, Wednesday. I'll probably raid you Wednesday. Okay. Um, if you're playing Bloodborne, because I'm just going to stay and watch the whole time. I remember what time I scheduled it for. It's probably. Oh. I can oh, look. You know, right I, no, I, I know exactly what time. It's at 6 p.m. Because uh, this Wednesday I have a uh, tabletop game like off stream that I'm going to be hanging out with. So that, today, yeah, it's probably scheduled for 6. Oh, so you're fucking me. You fucked me. I've been fucked. What? Now I can't even raid you or watch it. Well, I guess I can watch what? it and raid you. Well, Fear not. I tend to go out. Or I, I, I tend to go for quite a while. Like my streams tend to be like six plus hours long. Oh Jesus. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Incoherent turd says dollar. Thank you, my friend. On on Rumble. I, I, a big shout out to Rumble for at carrying like the sword like a lot. Thank you guys so much. Marion Hall yeah. ten dollars. There was a lot on Rumble. I appreciate you guys so much. Then she should raid you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Always raid me, please. That's how me and Pippa became friends. She raided me oh, for some cute. reason. And uh, then we became bros, and then she betrayed me because I betrayed her. Um, <laughs> do me a favor, everybody in the chat, please. There's 520 of you. Please, can you like the stream? We're, we're 90 away from the goal, and we, we got about 20 minutes left at least. Oh, I haven't so. refreshed in a while. I, I just see 69. Yeah, <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. I don't, don't want to refresh. Don't I'll, change it. I'll keep it. Don't change it. I'll screenshot it for posterity's sake. I've only done 69 once in my whole life. It, it, it's weird because it's like the quintessential like joke meme like ever since i was a kid 69 huh. like the whole time and then like you never actually do it because it's kind of like doesn't really mean anything <laughs> kind of inconvenient it doesn't really make sense um irikas game of tubers and camelot little finger oh you're fucking me you're saying i'm a little finger all right now come on nothing i do is 4d chess i'm stupid i don't i can't do 4d chess i can barely do 2d chess son are you good at chess? Chess? what's happening are you <laughs> me? No, fuck no. You can't play chess? No. I, I used to play chess and I used to think I was pretty decent at it, but then I realized it's because everyone I'm playing is, is fucking retarded. And then I played with my sister who was in like chess club and I got my ass annihilated. It was it was wild. I was like, wow, I thought I was good at this game. <laughs> I like playing people in chess that are sucky at chess. <laughs> <'Cause> I'm bad. <laughs> I'm fucking bad at chess and but I've mm. I've lost like twice in my whole life because I only play shit but shit people at chess and Same, like, same. I've only ever lost to my sister. <laughs> so you're like, damn, I'm, I'm so good. And then like uh, an actual, like a man that's like an engineer and like uh, in actually interested in chess and plays like on computer in his off time, like comes and plays with me in my piano room and fucking brutalizes me. Yeah. Like, wow, I suck. I'm stupid. I like quite literally feel like the this guy right here. The um um hold on. Uh, Hold me. Okay, here we go. I feel like this guy right here. Every time I play chess with somebody that's really good at chess, can I just? Can you just make this bigger computer? You can pull up the image. <laughs> God, it's like tiny. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, there it is. All right, cool. This is the guy. This is me. Whenever I play chess, wrong window. Present. Boop. 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 This is me when I play chess. I'm back, girl. <laughs> that's me that is yeah that's that's, that's relatable I'm the i i so in in my brain that was me but with like a like a top hat and like a funny like little mustache right and then i play with, and then I, I i played with my sister and she just tore the mustache off like it's gone god that's sad i didn't know women yeah. could be good at chess yeah it's wild she's i mean to be fair, like it's not like it was like a high bar. Like she was in like her like middle school. This is ages ago. She's like in her like middle school chess club. All right, and I like I was like, yeah, I got this. And then she fucking wrecked me. And I was like, wow, even just a basic understanding of chess is all that you really need. <laughs> That's all you really need. Yeah, no, um, I no, shit, I, I shit you not. I watched the uh, Queen's Gambit, that Netflix show, right? Mm -hmm. And it's about a girl that like is plays chess and kicks everybody's ass. She's like a savant, and then she goes and plays like a Russian dude that's like the world champion, and they like draw. And it's like, and I was like, dude, this is, it was, a, it was a, actually, I enjoyed the show like a lot. 
And that chick was hot, before, but then oh. she got the fucking balls. They she got the ball smack fat or whatever it's called removed from her cheeks. And now she looks like a monster. It's like a oh yeah, she yeah, got one yeah. of those. Yeah, dude, I hate those. I hate those God, so huh? much. Wow, God. have a little circle. Well, chat, here. chat, chat knows that I'm, I I love the 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 elderly women, and and uh, recently someone sent me like a a, a tweet of some like sixty fifty something six year old lady, and like. It's like, wow, I look so good for 60. It's like, yeah, no shit. You fucking, you're full of fucking like plastic and shit. You fucking, yeah. you sucked up your cheeks. Like your fucking lips are like, like you look just fucking disgusting. You like it, it, age gracefully. Okay. Age gracefully. Those of you that are elderly in chat. All right. Age gracefully. All right. Think about it. All right. Think about it. Abs are cum gutters. When you're a gilf, you have them everywhere because you're covered in wrinkles. <laughs> you you are the like the ultimate cum gutter, all right? <laughs> Enjoy that. Flex oh that. God, Walk goodness. around. All right. Uh, Show everyone your 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 flabs, all right? I, I I will I will salivate for you. You'll salivate for uh, old women? Mm-hmm. They smell strange though. Uh sometimes. It it depends. <laughs> like it, like you know, so sometimes you're like the ones that have to use the diaper and like, you know, they, they didn't realize you have to like be really careful with those. But like, nothing good perfume can fix, you know. Yeah, um, Rosa should play chess with her feet. She will win. Doubt it. Thank no. you. No. Thank you, uh, Mark <laughs> Mantle. Um, no. Yeah. No. Oh, fucking Queen's Gambit, man. I watched this show, and I like this show. So after the show was over, because I thought it was like based on a true story for some reason. I don't know why, but I thought it was based on a true story. So I Google it. I'm like, I want to like see what where this lady is now. Like, what did she, what did she end up doing? Because I don't know anything about like competitive chess. You know, all I know is Magnus Carlson. That's it. And I look, it's fucking a fictional fucking. It was fictional. It was none of it was oh, real. There's, there's no. actually not any women that fucking can do worth a shit in chess. I was so upset. I was like, wait, you mean women are retarded? That sucks. I thought that she was a good woman player. That's, nope, that's unfortunate. She's trash. I mean, there's grandmasters obviously that are women, but like, yeah. They're not they're not playing at the level that some of these guys are playing at. They're basically yeah. babies, basically. Um, they're just big fat ass babies. The, 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 like the like levels in chess are always so wild to me because it's just like, oh yeah, it's grandmaster. You'd think that's like top of the top. It's like no, not really. No. <laughs> like <laughs> no. Oh god, like it's wild. Chess is crazy. Um, Sonia, can you do me a favor and uh, post Rosa's uh, links in the chat? For Twitter and for YouTube. Thank you. Appreciate you. Johan Nexus says men better at everything. I agree. Um, can't help it. It's just how we are. Mm, We're not better at like you. being like hyper annoying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, <laughs> in a stressful situation. God. Yeah, in stressful situations. Yeah, I agree. Oh, uh, man. Oh, look at Outlaw 2 posting the obvious one. I was going to say that women are better at having fuckable holes, but like. <laughs> you men have proved that that's not necessarily true. I don't know about the outlaw too says giving birth. Well, technically, men can give birth now. Um, no, um, <laughs> I don't think so. Can they? Nothing... Yeah, of course. Uh, tra Transmit. <laughs> no, um, uh, I disagree with the whole thing because you know I've been around the block and you cannot beat the slobber pocket at the right consistency. Just it's a oh, non-beatable. Right. You can't beat it. At impossible. the right consistency, okay. Yeah, like the right level of consistency. Like a 9 out of 10 slippery slot. Okay. okay. Not 10. That's valid. 10's That's valid. too much. 10's like you're like, all right, I could just literally climb in this bitch. What is happening? But a 9 gives you a little bit of resistance. Um, which for me, it's, I, it's almost none anyway. So, unfortunately. Um, Cam is a leftist soy humor. What? How did you? Oh, you're talking because I said man can give birth. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oops, I gave it away. I gave it away. Did you see that 16 women, 16 mm. women are, um, have filed a class action lawsuit against the NCAA for, uh, letting, for letting, um, biological men like play with them, like trans, trans women play with them. Yeah. That, that's just fucking wild. 16. That, that, like, it's so wild to me. Like why, why? Like, I don't know. It's like, it's, 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 it's the like, how do we reach a point in society where we're like, yes, we have these sports dedicated to women. No one watches them, but it's dedicated to women, right? And then we're just gonna be like, you know, oh yeah, but you know, they identify, right? Like, yeah. 
that is like okay fine i you know i i like the whole identity bullshit is so fucking dumb to me you can just identify as whatever the fuck you want i i identify as being correct 24 7 you you have to call me oh 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 grand wise one every time you refer to me yeah and i don't care how ridiculous it sounds all right if you want me to call you z zimzer you have to call me oh grand wise one who is always correct yeah, but they're not. But you're not being serious. That's the that's the justification. The issue is, man, is fucking Z Zim Zeras and fucking Zeras. <laughs> like, fuck off. If people could, if people could just admit, like the truth, I don't yeah. really care. So, if yeah, who do I? If there was like a female boxer, and the, there was a trans woman boxer, and they somehow are in agreement to fight. I don't care as long as we yeah. acknowledge that the dude's going to watch a man destroy. beat a woman. What yeah, the dude's going to fucking destroy the chick. It's fine. It's going to happen. We get it. And just acknowledge that because you'll people will unironically look you in the fucking face and be, say men do not have a, a, a physical advantage over women. And I'm like, <laughs> I will fucking shoot myself. What are you talking about? Dude, dude, this this trans woman is six foot seven. And has like the like a sixty nine inch reach. What do you mean? There's no fucking. Phys- Are you fucking kidding me? And they're like, yeah, but technically they were on hormones for like a year. So technically, it's like no hormones don't make you go down to five foot two anymore. You're already six yeah. seven, bro. You're already there. You've already you you've already gained every advantage from your your puberty. So let's just let's just yeah. not go that route. Or just say it. It's- just say it. Just say yes. We understand that trans women have a a, a vast uh a, a vast advantage over women. But we want them to play anyway, and I'd be like, "All right, cool." As long as you say and you know, and we're acknowledging yeah, that the like, women dude, have no I, thought, that's cool. As long as like people are fucking honest, like no one actually gives a shit. I, yeah. I, I, I saw fucking uh, Melanie like Mac uh, or, like retweeted like a post or someone was basically like, like, uh, clapping at like, "Oh, look, this like trans person put like a little like a writing on the fucking inside of a goddamn bathroom stall saying a trans woman peed here and you lived, right?" And the trans flag. It's just, like this is fucking narcissism. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just fucking narcissism. Like, get over your fucking bullshit. Like, it's just uh, you are never going to fucking fit in society if you spend your entire time antagonizing it. That's just how it's gonna work. No one in their fucking right mind gives a little fucking shit who or what the fuck you are. I worked at like when I was working at the mall, I would see thousands of people a day. I'm pretty fucking androgynous. I would get called sir or ma'am at pretty much fucking random, like 50%, especially with a mask on. Like, no one fucking knew, all right? Wait, people no called you a sir and you're a tiny little skinny thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so like, I, I fuck, I dress in, like, men's clothing. And so it's just, like, it was pretty much 50-50, like, literally fucking 50-50. And I don't give a fuck because I'm there to fucking do a job. I don't know this person. I don't give a fuck what this person believes or thinks or anything. This person could die tomorrow on their way back to fucking Colombia, whatever the fuck fucking shithole country they came from. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. So why the yeah. fuck am I going to care if they call me the right fucking words? Like, I don't give a and shit. No one, and, and generally, and I, I feel like since the beginning of probably like, I guess, let's say uh, modern life, which is kind of without a lot of strife um, in most parts of the country, People yeah. have been kind of doing s- similar stuff to this, and no, no one has ever cared as long as they keep it to themselves, and you know they 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 just do whatever. Um, the, the when everybody started getting a an, getting an issue about it was when people would scream in your face to acknowledge their whatever yeah, shit that they were talking about at the time. I'm like, I don't, I don't need to. I don't even know you. I don't. I don't need to acknowledge if anything. You scream in my face, I'll probably slug you. Like fuck I'll, off. <laughs> I will do the opposite of what you're demanding in spite of your crazy ass. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what the that's what happened with COVID. I remember when COVID came around, and no one really knew, you know, what was going on, and uh, they were like talking about the vaccine and whatnot, and I and people were like, "Are oh, you gonna get you're gonna get vaccinated for COVID?" Like this is back when I was streaming, you know, twenty twenty. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, I, probably not right away because I work from home, but maybe if I did, when I decide to travel, I might, you know, look into it. Obviously, if I have to. And then within two weeks, everyone was like threatening to like have their their parents committed and people in LA were like turning in their friends and people in Canada were like calling the F the Canada FBI yeah like, on their fa- like and uh, it became like this weird team based political thing where I'm 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 morally superior to you and you need to be killed and as soon as that happened as soon as people in the chat were yelling at me for like killing the grandma I was like yep never getting it now 
I'll never get this just yep. because y'all are bitches. I, I don't even care <laughs> what it does. I will never get I, it in spite of them. So I I didn't even get it uh, because I, I have allergies, like pretty bad allergies. And the thing with vaccines is that oftentimes a lot of the stuff in them are allergens. Yep. And so uh, I, once upon a time, when I was very, very young and uh, almost fucking died because I got a fucking vaccine and I was allergic to it. And around this time, like, getting a vaccine, it was, like, everyone's, like, rushing in. You know, you get your vaccine, next person. Like, everyone's trying to fucking get one. Everyone's freaking out. There's, like, a whole lot of, you know, mess. Hospitals are fucking busy, right? The hospitals are fucking full, right? Like, everyone has something. And my doctor was just like, just don't get it. I'll write down a paper that says, you, like, you're not allowed to get it or that you already got it. I don't even care. You just don't fucking get it and just move on with your life. I caught COVID, like, a month later. No problems. Yep, no issues. I, I lost my taste for, like, several months, and my taste buds might still be fucked since then. But, like, I I continue to work at GameStop, right, seeing, like, hundreds of thousands of people, oftentimes from other, like, countries, right, because I was working, like a, like, a tourist mall. And I didn't catch COVID again until I stopped working at GameStop and stayed at home for a week. I yeah. shit you not. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, I had, I've had i had COVID twice, and it wasn't really a big deal. Um, I just slept a lot, and that's the thing, man, is... When I went to get my uh, physical for NASCAR, um, mm. they were like, oh, it says on here, vac vac your vaccine status. And they're like, do you want to, like, are you getting your vac vac vaccines today for, like, COVID and stuff? And this was, like, recently, by the way. This was in January or December. And I was like, uh, I don't think so. And the, the lady was like, oh, well, I'll just leave that unmarked and we'll just, like, not worry about it unless you have to. And I was like, okay, cool. Because I would have not, I'd have been like, well, guess I ain't racing. And um, it n no one ever said anything, so apparently it was fine. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, just, I felt like that was the uh, it's just especially nowadays with like the data available, like that like why are we even talking about this anymore? Like why is the government actually doesn't really talk about it anymore? It's kind of just gone finally. Like no, they don't even try to sell it anymore. They're like ah oh, fuck it. <laughs> like we know it's the most the biggest bullshit that's ever happened. So we're just gonna not worry about that. Chris Way. Says cue the Pippa White Nationals clip on Rosa. Thank you, Chris Why? I appreciate you. Um, Maz Vaughn Mad says, Hi Rosa, how's the femboy grooming going? Femboy grooming? Are you looking for femboys, Rosa? I am um, no. I can give you a femboy. I don't really I don't really understand. I remember uh, there was like an uprising of femboys for a short period of time and I was I never really understood it. Yeah. Femboys are strange. It's like I just, mean some uh, people are into that. Oh no, for sure. I get it. Well well, a femboy, um, that's just like an effeminate small gay man. Yeah. Like, but femboys aren't gay anymore. They're just femboys. And I'm like, this is weird. Yeah, Lofty's yeah, a femboy. Yeah, they, they, they're, sure. they're not always gay anymore. They're not always gay anymore. Sometimes they're not gay. It's just a weird thing. Rose is grooming Lofty. Why is there... Is, Lofty is kind of a femboy. If you ever meet Lofty in real life, yeah, he's definitely a little femboy. femboy. Mm -hmm. He looks kind of like... Uh, he looks kind of like Dave Matthews. If Dave Matthews like drank 10 gallons of soy for like a year every day. I, I need to fucking look up an image. That's kind of what Lofty looks like. Um, yeah, so look at this. Cryo says, I'm running for office. First order of business is state man mandated fanboys for everyone that votes for me. <laughs> God. Lame. Lame. I'm like the only person in the world. I like, I like dudes that are fucking jacked. Okay. I like chicks that are jacked too. I like both. Not like sexually, you know. <laughs> but, you know. Confirmed. Like Camel, Camelot. Is uh, is bisexual confirmed now? <laughs> As of right now, write it in the oh, books. One hundred percent. They all people have known this for years. Um, so that's just how it works. Um, mm. who wants to place bets, bros? Um, thank you by the way, incoherent turd over on Rumble. I love you guys. Make sure you guys like the show. We're forty away from the goal. Still waiting on those <laughs> genetically engineered cat girls, bro. Incoherent turd is a great fucking name. It is. Oh my god. So I was uh, I was thinking about this thing. So. AI is starting to like snowball, right? Mm. Like snow yep. the fuck ball. Yep. And I was thinking to myself, like humanoid, like androids are starting to become a thing now. They're starting yep. to snowball a little bit. AI in the last year, in the last year, has Blow the fuck up. It is, it's almost indistinguishable from real life in some images or videos. Um, yep. And a year ago, it was like uncanny terrifying. Like you would see like people pull shit out of like random places and like morph yeah. and it's not like that now. It's it's pretty fucking close. I've seen some videos where I was surprised it was AI. They're like, it was AI. I was like, what? 
yeah, there's like a there's a video of like this puppy running in the snow, and it just looks like a fucking puppy running in the snow, bro. So um imagine where it's gonna be in 10 years. It is wow. gonna be un fucking believable. So what if these androids are up to scuff in 10 years? Bro, how Dude. much will, if if it's 50 grand, I'll buy one. <laughs> I'll finance that yeah. bastard and I will just I will have no human contact and I will just Bro, have this I've, android. I've been telling chat for months my goal is to become Krillin. I I because I'm I'm really short, right? So I, I wanna get real beefy. I wanna shave my fucking head and just get tattooed like four dots on there. And then I just, I just wanna find a fucking like tall blonde android lady to just make my my my, my wife. That's it. That's all I yeah, want. Yeah. I agree. I I, I I, I don't. I think once the android women come in, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I, I'll never need to talk to women again. Like it's, it's like it like literally wakes you up by polishing your knob off, and then like goes and makes you breakfast, and then just is into everything you're into mm -hmm. passionately and like believably. Like when mm -hmm. some girls, when they're into the shit you're into, it's like overtly like apparent that they're just fucking around because they're trying to impress you. But the android would be good at it, right? I just I I, I want that in my life, and you and you yeah. fall in love with that fun the fucking android immediately. Yeah, dude. I, I can fall in love with a cat. I love my cat. Not like romantically, but like, but like not sexually. <laughs> yeah, not like sexually, like romantically, but like, I, I, like you can fall in love with fucking anything. I, I've eaten cat before, you know. Like you can fall in love with fucking anything. I think if you know with enough, like you know, if it's if it's like believable enough, right? And it's like, wow, this thing actually cares about me, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is uh? What does cat taste like? Uh, dude, I don't remember. Oh, so this is like <laughs> back in your your Cuba days. Yeah. So I was real little. <laughs> Uh, I was, uh, I was, so when, when I was really young, I was born here, but I, I my, like, most of my family's in Cuba, so, like, I was back and forth all the time, and it wasn't until I turned, like, 18, right, and I was hanging out with my great aunt, and she was telling us about the cats, because I was like, damn, there's all this, like, a lot, I was like, there's a lot of stray cats, kind of out, she's like, yeah, they disappear every now and again, I was like, what do you mean they disappear, and she's like, well, when there's no food, <laughs> you know, people I die, eat. I love kitties. I, I I know that sounds like hyper gay, but I just love cats, man. I have two cats. Yeah. I have I have Mrs. Butt Cheeks and I have Sushi. Sushi's like thirteen now. Mrs. Butt Cheeks is like two, and they're great cats. They just chill. They lay around. They lounge. Yeah. I have two dogs. I have a German Shepherd who's eleven. He's a fucking monster. Um, he's nice. He's sweet. He's just huge. And then yeah. I have uh, a husky, which is more like a Malamute, but he's full blooded husky. But for some reason, he's huge as well. And I just I, I love I love them all. They're like my boys. They're my fucking boys. Yeah. Um, so I don't. And I've known people in the past that they they uh, they don't have that like filter, like the animal filter. I have had friends in my past that would like adopt a cat because they want a cat, and they get the cat, and then they all they do is talk about how much they hate the cat, and then they tell me like six months like into the having the cat, they just put their cat outside so it would like wander away. And I'm like, yeah, like what, what? the fuck? Why'd the you get fuck? in the first place? That's that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's wild weird to me. me. That's crazy. Like, yeah, it's like when my ex-wife, she was like, um, she took my cat Sushi, which it was her cat. You know, we we got it at the same time, but it it was her cat when we got it in like 2010. And when she left, I kept my cat Thor, um, who had has since ran away. She disappeared. She was a sweet cat. Somebody probably picked her up and was like, well, I love this cat. I'm keeping her. And that's how I justify my, my sadness. And then I have Mal mm -hmm. is my, my husky. And, um, she just took the sushi. And then when she got remarried, her husband like had allergies. So she's like, I have to get rid of sushi. And I'm like, what do you mean you have to get rid of sushi? That doesn't mean it doesn't register to me. Like, yeah, I, I have cat allergies. Yeah, same. <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck it. They're my boys. I'm going to keep my boys. Yeah. They're my family. They're not just th they're not things I can give away, and like, they're they're my family. It's so strange to me. Um, I'll never understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jay Z, for Dave Matthews Hall Pass. He was good in House. I love that episode more in House when he's uh, a he's that guy that's like really slow but plays piano really well. He's the savant. Mm -hmm. Great. You ever watched House? No. Bro, it's so good. It's such a fantastic show. It's like a doctor show, but doctor drama. Got a lot, I, dude. I I I think I like I I dated a girl when I was in like. Uh, in like middle school, I was like really into that, and I think she ruined it for me for like forever. Oh, so I'm like, oh, look at all this doctor stuff, and then it's just like, I I don't know, I I I think back and I'm like, wow, that that stuff is terrible. I don't want to watch any of that ever again. Yeah, that makes sense. Phil Ray, thank you, Phil. I love Phil Zade Ray. See, my boy. The, like, 
I feel like like the human brain is really bad at like making like connections of like this is a happy thing and I associate this thing with happiness. It's really good at making connections like wow this is a terrible thing and I associate it with this terrible person I didn't like. Uh, Bojack Horseman can't watch it. Cannot what? watch what Bojack Horseman because uh, I was story? watching through <laughs> it. I was watching through it when my ex wife told me she didn't love me anymore. Damn. And then when yep. she left, I was I continued watching it and the show is fucking dark. It's not. It's uh, if you are prone to depression, don't even watch it because it'll fucking it'll make you depressed. And um, because mm-hmm. everything that who like it all is very relatable. And I was like, in a not mm-hmm. a good place, like, obviously. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I was like, well, can I never watch this again. So I've never watched it again. Never watched it. Never went back to watch it. Can't even think about watching it. So that's one of the things. Um, and I don't know. It's just one of those things. And I I don't feel anything from that time period. It's like it's like, I'm closing on eight years ago, and uh, I don't feel mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think about past relationships at all haven't in like a year um where it just randomly pops in my head at one point um but for some reason just can't watch bojack but the sopranos is goaded i, I, I watched Sopranos? it watched I've it heard the things about that show it is fantastic I, I, just, I need to sit down and watch that show at some point i watched it for the first time What's that on? I 31 i think oh, oh god i don't know um stars um let's see hbo the yeah hbo sopranos okay um HBO. so if you have max it's on there mm-hmm. I, i'm assuming um that may be one of the next uh, watch alongs. Bro, the Discord. it's just a it's just a sincere, sincerely a great show. It's a fantastic show, and I love it. Um, let me shout out some of these super chats before we end this show. We're closing in on two and a half hours. Um, okay. such a such a fun show with Rosa Kotal. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my presence here. It was fun. Billy Hatcher says. Uh, Cody finally got another VTuber. Hell yeah. Thank you, Billy Hatcher, for your pink boy. I love you. I appreciate you. I didn't hit this one earlier. Barb, I love you. Um, where is the red boy and the other pink boys? There's one red boy on YouTube, and it's the Wandering Helmsman. Thank you so much for being the lone red boy today on YouTube and holding up the damn fort and getting us a rainbow night. Then also Billy Hatcher as well. And then, of course, over on Rumble, our red boy was Marion Oltzman. Thank you. Oh, look at Shani. Thank you, Marion Holtzman. I appreciate you. Liz, I was thinking about you, Shani, today. I was thinking Howdy. about how I was thinking about how we have a Snapchat streak of like two years. And how we will go three months with just snapping each other like pictures of our floor. And you just never say hi to me anymore. And it just and I'm like What's Shani. a Snapchat streak? I have this on my my board. Just because Hany, Shani exists. Right. <laughs> and I never and I and I use it all the time and it makes me sad. I'll be just sitting here and I'll be <laughs> oh Shani doesn't doesn't even say say hi to me. <laughs> I have this one person and she doesn't even come and say hi to me. But she did today. So thank you, Shani. I love you for your gold boy. She says, I dropped in, bro. Thank you so much. Love you. Do it more often. You don't have to super chat me, just say hi. Love you. Um, and I appreciate you, Shani. You're so good to me. We have a long streak. What's the Snapchat streak, Rosa? Yeah. Are you, you're just like trying to like make me like seem like a no, gay. I you're trying to no, make me seem no, gay. No, 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 no. I okay, I need you to stand. I need you to stand. I don't fucking use social media. I don't. I don't. My introduction to how completely fucked the internet is was uh, two years ago when I started VTubing. Okay. Like I do not use social media. Okay. Okay. I just didn't know if you're like trying to make me look like a like a fake. No. Like a big no, no, fake. no. I legitimately do not know. Like, I can kind of like try to guess. Like, is it like, like I don't know, do people message each other in Snapchat? Yeah. So, like, is that... okay. So, I downloaded Snapchat uh, like 10 years ago um, because I was dating, like, I was single again. Uh, well, I guess eight years ago. I was single again. And, like, ever, I was only hanging out with girls that were like 21 to 22, 23. Um, hmm. I was 28 at the time or 27. And uh, that's the only girls that wanted to hang out with me for some reason. And, um, they all only use Snapchat. So I was like, oh, fuck, I'll download it if that's what they're going to use. And to te- it's, a, it's basically another, it's an app that you text on. It's just like a text message app, like our, your normal text message on your phone. Except okay. you can send pictures, like of like whatever. I always send pictures of my wall, like with Annie. So it's like WhatsApp, but like for the, for, for the younger generation. I guess. And it, 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 the, the UI and everything is really intuitive. Um, it's just normal. It's, 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 it's very well made because it's been around for so long. And, um, hmm. You, if you Snapchat somebody like more than five times or four times, you'll develop a streak and it will just have a little number beside their name. And then you oh. get like anxiety from losing it after you get like 10. So you just force it. So me and Shani's forced it for over two years. That's kind of cool. Though. It keeps you in contact with people. I guess it does. Except it's just, we just take pictures of our floor. That's pretty much what we do. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but no, it's a it's a cool app. I don't really use it for many things, like two or three things, two or three people I talk to on it at all. Um, so there's that at least. But I usually I don't use another thing that people use that I don't use Discord. I don't use Discord at all. I have one. That's the only way I can talk to wow. Cottontail. That's the only way I can talk to Cottontail VA. But that's I, surprising. But yeah, I else, yeah. God, I just have like Twitter because I was forced to like. I've always had a Twitter, but I've always, always been just for like like retweeting like art that I like. Um, yeah. and putting pictures. And then no, no, like like just in 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 in, in the, the the pre like VTuber days, like it, the sole purpose was just for me to like find cool art that would give me inspiration for like D and D. Yeah. Um, but like I didn't really use it, and then. I had Discord just because I had a few friends that were like, "Look, I'm a I'm I'm, I'm a PC person. I I use the Discord." And like I've always like I've always just hang out with people like on console. Like historically, I've always just like hung out with like my friends I met like ages ago, like ten years ago. I just hang out with the same group like on PlayStation or something. Yeah. Um, and then some of them moved to PC, and so I got Discord. And like that's the only reason. Right. Yeah, that's that's it. I mean, people that the only reason I have a Discord is because people were like, "Hey, I'm on Discord." I'm like, "What the fuck's Discord?" So now I have a Discord because people use Discord for some reason. Mm. I don't really understand why. Anyways, um, real quick, uh, Bebop has just come into the stream, and he put his balls on my face. Howdy, Bebop with a hundred dollars super chat. Let's go. Joining, joining the car for Kansas tentatively could change. I'll let you know if it does change, but tentatively it's going to be Kansas. 1988 with a $100 super chat getting us 300 away from fight milk. I appreciate you so much. Um, but I got to do neck and snake because we're, we're closing in on the end here. Have you seen? Oh X yeah. What's, 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 what's neck and snake? Oh, you're going to find out. You gonna find out. You won't love it. Maybe you might leave. I don't know. You might just, just, just <laughs> um, let's, find out, let's find out. Find out. Hey, thank you. Bebop. Really? I appreciate you. Bebop. You're goaded. That's the second red boy of the night. Third one or third one. Technically I appreciate you so much. Get on it. Dog on it. My friend. Thank you. Um, all right, let me move over here real quick. And we're going to do Neck and Snake for the 284th time in a row. Yes, that's the right number. 284, boys. 284. All right, here we go. Thank you, Bebop. Appreciate you. Love you. Um, That reminds me, they're, they're adding an over, a Cowboy Bebop skins to Overwatch 2. Jeez. Thank you. Appreciate you. I never even really played the first one except for two seconds, and uh, I didn't really care for it. Yeah. It felt it felt like uh, kind of Team Fortress C2, but more complex. And I'm like, uh, I'm, just, I'm just not into like MOBAs, and it kind of feels like a MOBA, but as a shooter, and I just, eh, I'm, I'm good, I'll pass. I'm not into anything anymore. I pretty much only play from software shit nowadays, and then like, <laughs> literally me, Resident, yeah, older the Resident same Evil. person, not not in the Resident Evil part, but the same person. I, I I I just play like like my FromSoft games. I play I like fantasy, so like I'll play like 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 Dragon's Dogma or something like that. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, I, well, I play Resident Evil because. Um, Resident Evil games, uh, they just speak to me, man. I, I played all the old original ones when I was a kid, and then they released uh, the only other one I'll play is Resident Evil 2 Remake because I think it's a masterpiece, but the other ones I don't really care about. But I'll play the old mm. ones and then Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I love them, they're just great games, and also, uh, I love playing Resident Evil 2 Remake when I'm drunk, but I don't I haven't been drinking, so can't do that, mm. unfortunately. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm two beers and I'm dying to take a piss. Yo, and then when you get back, I'm gonna do next night. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll be back. Do it. Look now. It, look, it still looks like she's here. And that's that hilarious. You're just gonna stop tracking. You're just gonna stare at some, some random direction. It's still moving though. Look at it. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so strange. Um, brother, gift to me. Hell hours too. Enjoying it. Hell yeah, dude. Enjoy that, man. Appreciate you, dude. Um, let's cry together, Shani. Let's do it. OG Resident Evil is awesome. The new ones can't capture the camera angle element of it without over the shoulder approach. I agree. Um, I do say. Resident Evil 2 is the closest, like Resident Evil 2 Remake is the closest they have ever come to capturing the, a similar atmosphere because they made it so well. It still lacks a hair, but they were able to bridge that gap by making the game so claustrophobic and isolated. They just did a great job, um, and I don't think they'll ever be able to do it again. They'll never be able to do it again, I don't think. Um, but... um. I, I did like Resident Evil 8, but it was like it's it's not really Resident Evil to me, but it's I thought it was a great game. Um, but yeah, you can't beat Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. And Code Veronica. Um, although Code Veronica is a little too long and kind of convoluted. I love it though. Uh, I think Resident Evil 3 and 2 are perfect. They're like per they're masterpieces. RE2 on, on PS1 and RE3 on PS1, masterpieces, easily. Um, but 
yeah. Um, everything else is just whatever. So, and then RE One remake is amazing, fantastic. Tank controls, yeah, fucking love it. I love tank controls. Fucking love them. I've never understood why people had a problem with them. You just press forward and your character goes forward. I, I, it seems like idiot proof, but everybody hates them. I've never really understood it. But hey, man, it's just me. Uh, the other control like style where you use the left stick to go everywhere what? freaks me out. I can't do that shit. Doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, Justin says, no, the okay. fattest piss. Fattest piss? <laughs> the fucking fattest. fattest. It, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a fat piss. It was. Th- it was it was thick with a pH. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. There is nothing quite like uh, being three ish out of ten, and having to have had to piss for like an hour because you're like sitting there talking to people, and then you get yep. up and you piss, and it you is release like, it. It's, 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 is it's great. Almost coming status, like it's close, mm-hmm. it's like twenty five percent away. Um, yeah, dude, yeah. It's somewhere between like eating really good food and coming. It's like somewhere in the middle. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree. I completely agree with that. Um, Naked Snake time, boys. You guys ready for Naked Snake? Oh, Let's boy. see if Rosa stays through it. Pippa did. Pippa stayed the whole time. She loved it. Oh boy! And then she complimented me after we got off the show. She was like, "You're in great shape." I'm like, "Thank you, Pippa." All right, here we go. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat. You guys are goaded. Why does everybody say this when everybody pisses? Why does everyone ask this question when anyone pisses on stream? Why do you wash your hands after a piss? Yes, I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I wash do. My hands after I piss when I'm in my own house. I. I don't like 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 super wash them. I just I just like I'm like okay cool. And I just splash some you know splash some water in my hands. I don't I like like I, 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 I like I don't know. I don't fucking grab like and strangle my 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 cock when I'm pissing. I just let I just like open my open my fly and it I, it floops out and it's already aiming in the area and then it just goes. I don't I need know. to grab. Why do I? I don't need to grab it. Why don't? Why do you grab it? You can grab it. Thank you, Johan. Know, it's an it's the Asma Gold question. Oh God, the Roach Roach King, the Roach King himself, Asma Gold. Right, boys. <laughs> Dude, I learned about the fucking Roach thing. That freaks me out so bad. <sighs> I was like, holy fuck! I could do. I would die. I would die. I would die. I I I did an entire fucking stream where I just ran through the, the opening of Fallout Four over and over again until I could do it without flinching because I have a really bad phobia. And I got so sick from like the fucking chemical reactions in my fucking brain being like, run away. And then the rest of my body being like, I can't. <laughs> you, the thing is, like, how did you work at GameStop? Do people brought in Roach freaking infested consoles? Bro, bro. So, fun fact after I quit being a manager, right? Uh, I got offered a key holder position at my local store. It's like literally, like, I can walk there. It's two minutes away. Yeah. Right? Uh, getting paid as almost as much as the manager. All right. Because their assistant manager uh, got fired, and I had all the experience, and I obviously like they, they couldn't, you know, they they couldn't be like, oh, we have to pay you less, whatever. Right. So I got paid like as much as fucking possible, basically, to just be a fucking key holder. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll do this for like three months. And no one told me that the store, for whatever reason, had a roach infection that that no one had a problem with, <laughs> right? And I was always opening. I was exclusively an opener. So I'd come in the morning, turn on the lights, and they're, they're scattering. I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm having a panic attack every fucking morning, right? Dude, every store I ever worked at had a roach infestation. And I Dude. would get I would get pest control once a week, and it didn't change anything. Bro, I, I, I could never. I got really lucky. The entire time I worked there, I had no issues. The entire time I worked at the mall, no issues. The entire time I worked at my, the store I was managing, no issues. I came back to my home store. It was fucking disgusting. All right? It was fucking disgusting. I, I think... I, I, the only difference between that store, when I came back to it, right, and every other store I've worked at, is every other store I've worked at had at least two women on the team, all right? Them bitches cleaned, okay? <laughs> There's yeah. no fucking roaches, ever. And so I come back, and she's fucking nasty. I'm freaking the fuck out, right? Every fucking morning, I'm like, you know what? It's fine, whatever. I'll just I'll just stick through it. It's not a big deal, right? We, we, we got a guy in. They dealt with some of the roaches. It's not as bad. You know, it's fine. Fuck it. Just the mornings. I, I hate this, but it's just the mornings. And then one day a lady comes in, says her PS4 is making noise. I'm like, that's fucking normal. It's a PS4. Yeah. And she's like, no, it's weird. And so I, I take it, I plug it in, and it starts making like a low grumbling sound. I'm like, that's weird. And so I look into the vent, and a fucking little antenna pokes out. Oh, my God. Dude. Ah. Uh, Every time. Ah. Uh, Every I, time. I I I I I just I just hosed the fucking console down with raid. Just hosed it down. I didn't give a shit. 
I hosed it down. I just I exchanged it, and then immediately moved it from de from defective into into fucking into field destroyer. I was like, this is going away. Oh this is, yeah, we're, we... we're, 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 this isn't going back. This isn't going to the warehouse. It's just going in the trash. I'll take the loss. I don't care. I just want her out. Because she was like, oh, we don't have roaches at the crib. I'm like, I'm not saying you have roaches at the crib. I'm saying you have roaches in your fucking console, right? I don't give a shit about your drama. Yeah. Take the fucking console. Get the fuck out of my face. I closed the fucking store down. Went to my car. I had a panic attack. Yeah, they, uh, people, like, that was the one thing is when, when people would, if it was really bad, um, and people were, like, angry, or, like, you, you don't want to offend them. So I'd be like, oh, we actually hit our, uh, trade, uh, our trade uh, ceiling for the day. We actually can't take trades in. To, uh, get, try the store across the street. <laughs> That's what I always did. No, thank you. I ain't uh, doing. Yeah, this. like I, I, it was like the middle of the fucking day, and I, I didn't fucking know until I turned it on. They started crawling out. But at that point, it's too late. It's too uh, late, man. I'm not. I'm not grabbing that thing and giving it back to her. I'm not uh, touching that thing. <laughs> God. All right, boys. <laughs> Twenty locks until five hundred. I need you guys to spam that shit. It's time for the two hundred eighty fourth naked snake in a row. Make sure you guys like the stream. Appreciate you guys. We're doing it again. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you're excited. And then we'll be back Wednesday, of course, for the pre-race hop stream. Let's go. Here we go, boys. You guys ready? Are you ready? Oh, my God. All right. Here we go, boys. I got to pop my headset off. Okay. My boom arm's going to break. I feel it coming. Okay. All right, boys, here we go. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. You guys ready? Here we go. But you're so super. Oh, this is what's happening. Hold on, wait. Come on. Here we go, boys. You ready? Let's hit the first verse. Come on. In my time, there'd been nobody else. Come on. I'm crying. It's I'm the way <laughs> I fly to you. Here we go. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Best part, everybody. Here we go. Did I just change? <laughs> I, uh... Wait, are you shirtless? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody. I live my life. Not for honor, boys. Mm -mm -mm. Not for honor, but for you. Bebop coming in with a blue boy. Look at him. Look at this beautiful person. Oh my God. Mm. In my time, there'd be nobody else. Uh, here we go. Cry. It's the way I fly to you. Bebop. I don't have a headband, but I, I am I am naked and I am a snake. In a dream, snake eater. Amazing. Thank you, Bebop, for all your blue boys. We have one more. We have one more. Hope you guys are ready. Here we go. Seven locks from 500. Here we go. One more time. You ready, Sonya? Here we go. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the game <laughs> Love you. That's fun. Amazing. So, the, the music is like one second delayed for the guest, but not for okay. me. So, when I'm jiggling my titties, it's perfectly to the rhythm. So when you watch oh. the replay back, if you ever like come look at the replay, you'll see my titties jiggling at the oh. right, right at the right interval. Okay, okay. 
I never knew that for the longest time. I did not know people saw my titties. You're always that. doing it like off sync. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I'm. And then, I, then you learned. Okay. And then I learned finally. Because it was. <laughs> I think it was uh, Dan Vask was he s- tried to sing it and he was singing like a second later when then I was hearing it, and I was like oh, this whole time my titty jiggling has been out of sequence for the guest for everybody else it's fine but for the guest it's not. Oh, give I me a flex for thing. X Sonia give you a flex like what do you mean double bicep or just like normal double bicep like that there you go appreciate you yes bebop with the $20 super chat climax climax my <laughs> man thank you so much dude hey we're gonna uh we're gonna raid legal mindset. Um, he's my boy, and he's talking about Peepa, and he has Gator on. I love all these people. Give him some love in the chat. I'll see you guys Wednesday. We're two likes away from five hundred, by the way. I'll see you guys Wednesday for the pre pre race hop stream. Don't forget, and also don't forget to subscribe to Rosa Codal. Don't forget, stop being bitches and subscribe to Rosa Codal. Here I'm gonna put I'm gonna put her, uh the channel. We're playing uh, Bloodborne on Wednesday. Bloodborne. With the hand cam on, with the one hand, the, the feet on the table. I will be there. I wonder, watching. Cryo, is it Cryo? Cryo uh, ordered me uh, some new fucking like like stockings with like little moons on them. I might, if they arrive. Little okay. moons. Little cute moons. Happen. Thank you, Bebop. <laughs> Make sure you guys check that out. I'll be there in the chat Wednesday watching it as well. Um, Pre stream, post stream. Cowabunga pizza. Thank you for your $10 super chat, my man. Love you. I appreciate you. Look how beautiful it is. We killed it. Had a great stream. We hit 500 locks. Thank yeah. God we hit the goal. We killed it. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Go subscribe to Rosa. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to all your friends. Follow them on Twitter and whatnot. And I'll see you guys Wednesday and then Saturday in Pensacola. If you live close by, come see me race uh, in the Arca race down there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys later. Give uh, Say uh, Cam Raid in the uh, Mindset's chat. Bye, everybody. Bye.